Yum, yum. No, don't even. Don't even. Hey, Opie, what are you eating? Yeah, what is he eating? <laughs> cereal? Yeah, it's cereal, all right. With some bananas in it. Mm-mm, that looks tasty. Had to eat breakfast a little late today. Yeah. We're setting up for maybe a new bit today. Uh-huh. We'll what see do you how got that there? goes. You got some Wheaties? Yeah, what do you got? Breakfast of Champions? Maybe some Cheerios. Just your basic Cheerios. Something, something like Something that. a man would eat. Something a man <laughs> would eat go. in the morning. There we go. Something a man would eat in the morning. Boy, some we sort were... of toasted oats. Right. Toasted oats. You guys know what I'm eating. Another manly I'm not cereal. Along. I'm uh, not playing along. Shredded wheat. Oh, that's I know. something <laughs> healthy. Well, Even no. then, that's getting a little gay, <laughs> is it? Well, let me just explain before you kill oh. me for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> I, 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 I grab the bowl of cereal. I it's not a bowl. You're eating it out of Tupperware. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what I do. The whole thing is just fucking <laughs> ridiculous. Worse. I don't have cereal bowls yet. I just got a toaster. I'm very happy with that purchase. Yeah. So I I I I, I, I um, cut up a banana, mm-hmm. threw some milk in there. Yeah. And then uh, the box of cereal happened to be um, empty, so I just threw the box away right in front of Anthony. Unfortunately, it was it was almost in the garbage. Almost we're, we're sitting in the office. It caught my eye out of the peripheral vision, and I saw the gayest box I've ever seen in my life for cereal. <laughs> you could not find a more a uh, womanly cereal. <laughs> Richard Simmons wouldn't eat that shit. No. <laughs> I, I, you've got to take a picture of it and get it online because I'm sure any description cannot do it justice in the fagged faggotness right, you of hold this up, box. You hold up the box, yeah. and they'll take the picture. It is called. First of all, the name is what caught me. I didn't even get the gayness of the box and the name. It's called Lean on Me, and as it was. <laughs> I'm close, Opie. Uh, you haven't had any. Were you in the clothes. men or uh, women section? <laughs> <laughs> the Lean on Me section. <laughs> Just trying to keep up. I'll explain. Seventy dollars though for this shirt that obviously looks like it should cost maybe twenty dollars tops. Yeah, but it's seventy because it, this is uh, what happens now, right? What are you like a size four? <laughs> I'm a I'm a size double zero, <laughs> <laughs> and I still feel fat. Right. <laughs> I didn't yeah. even know they're gonna go size into the double zeros. Go into the bathroom and binge after this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at she. <laughs> Why? She's standing on her tippy toes. On, on her the little scale. tippy toes. Yeah. Well, I I gotta explain though if you'll uh, let me have the. Uh, 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 you can have the floor and explain why, out of all the cereals that are out there, very nutritious cereals that are out there. they're not even trying to advertise to a man. They're like, no, no. guy would ever buy it. <laughs> Lean on me. Look at even Absolutely. like, e- even like the, the, the text, the font <laughs> is yeah. effeminate. Very feminine, <laughs> soft font. It's loaded with... Uh, uh, it, whole, it just makes you feel light as you read it, doesn't it? The whole yeah. thing's just like you're well, floating away. I'll tell you one thing. I've already gone through like a half a quart of milk, too. Really? Yeah, this cereal just soaks it up. It soaks like it up. Like a sponge. I'm just trying to keep like up, a, brothers. Yeah, like that's a, all I'm trying to do. That's because you chicks, you always Co-tex. have like deficiency. I'm in going to yep. explain now. Please explain why that was the only box of cereal available to I'm you. Because I'm trying to keep up. That's all I'm saying. I, I I went to Abercrombie and Fitch, Fifth Avenue, brand new superstore. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I like uh, some of the uh, Abercrombie and Fitch stuff every once in a while. Sure. sure. And we're walking around uh, the city mm-hmm. over the weekend. Me and Lindsay and a few other people and all the girls. And well, there was a there was <laughs> there, there were a few girls in in my posse. Did uh-huh. you have a hat box? Including you were my, walking down the street, <laughs> including my girlfriend. And uh, all of a sudden, I, I see a big commotion outside the Abercrombie and Fitch store. Oh, a commotion! Like, Must well, have been a sale. <laughs> well, that's what you would think. But they, I guess it was the grand opening of Abercrombie and Fitch, I right? Maybe they were giving away free boxes of Lean On Me. And, and then I get closer <laughs> and I see all the women. They got their cameras out. Uh-oh. They got their cameras out. Uh-oh. Here comes a B-movie star. Dude, <laughs> you're walking into the lobby of, or whatever you call it, the opening of uh, the Abercrombie and Fitch store there, right? Yeah. And they got uh, two of the, f- the fucking male models there for the grand opening. That's it? Just two models? With, like, no shirts on. They have eight packs. Ooh. This sounds exciting. Give me a bowl of lean on me and tell me all about it. I want a figure like that. <laughs> they have eight packs. 
that they're like the new models for Abercrombie and Fitch. So the girls are all losing their fucking minds taking pictures with the. Mm-hmm. You can see their panties getting moist right in front of you. Just, they're just losing yeah. their minds. And then I walk into the fucking store like, oh great. And then I'm trying on clothes and and my one pack. <laughs> But <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep up. One I'm, big I'm, lumpy, I'm, mushy ab. Just like just like little teenage girls out there, I'm influenced by advertising. <laughs> yeah, but trying to keep up at this point, trying to keep up with that. These you guys, need a time machine. <laughs> you should have <laughs> saw these ladies. Those models are fucking. Not, what are they? Twenty three. <laughs> Nah, I mean, obviously, I'm just kidding, but I mean, just to just to see these like older women just losing their fucking minds, taking getting their pictures taken with these stupid models. So why don't you just have that a can of tuna? And that like does that. not explain Lean on Me at all. There is, like I said, I'm, cereal I'm just trying up to keep the yin yang, as they say. Uh, different types of what made you looking at all the cereal. What made you choose that box? There's always something on a box or a know, you product go, that you makes you abs. get it. Abs or, a, or like breasts. I um every time I'm in the, I'm in the supermarket, I try a new cereal. Little known fact. And a lot of <laughs> all right. And a, a lot of known. Time, and a lot of times, if there's someone near the uh, the cereal area in the supermarket, I'll just openly ask them, "What's your favorite cereal?" I'm not buying this. I swear trying to out. blame other people. But in this case, I uh, decided yes to try the lean on me. It looked uh, the picture on the box looked uh, very delicious. It did <laughs> not. That looks like a woman's cereal. That is as embarrassing bringing up to the cashier as tampons or right. Kotex or something like that. Yeah. It really is. It is a very feminine box. Oh, that you are. Yeah, but I also had a couple poor houses with it. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, that to, outweighed it. Yeah, just to distract the cashier yeah. a little bit. I had a couple uh, poor houses. <laughs> Issue a hustler. I had a six pack of uh, PBR. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Playboy magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go home. And a uh, and a little bit of skim milk for yeah. your lean on me for cereal. your lean on me. I just I couldn't uh, I couldn't understand why you would buy that when there's something like maybe Wheaties yeah. or I don't know. I try I try all the the cereals I guess. This no, one, this one is there's a line Opie. This yeah. is you this definitely one, crossed it. This one's better than that Optimum thing I was eating. What? Where Cable I wasn't TV's shitting making for three or four days. Cereal. <laughs> what the hell was it called? Optimum. The Kashi. I forget. I forget what it was called, but uh, it was. It but there was, was. There wasn't a broad on a scale. It was it really wasn't. clogging no. me up. Oh, there it is. What? Right there. Which one? The one that says Optimum. Right. What is that? A list of gay cereals? I'm not doing that. You got it on yeah, the uh, cereals available in Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating the. Op- hey, there's a coupon for rollerblades on the back of this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen box tops. <laughs> you get a pair of purple rollerblades. <laughs> uh, I was eating the Optimum Power Breakfast cereal. Who makes that? Nature's Path. How organic. How do these people stay in business? Flack. Who else bought Lean on Me? I've been around for many years. I've never seen Lean no, on Me cereal. There's no commercials for it. And looking at the cereal aisle, walking through it, I definitely would have noticed that box. Comes with a barf bag. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Teaches you <laughs> how a to... a little bulimic in you. <laughs> teaches you how to tickle the back of your throat just right to barf. <laughs> Yeah, you could. Uh, yeah, you could use that box uh, to puke in as well. Little known fact about the lean on and it's box. such cheap cardboard. Like, feel the cardboard. It's not like a Kellogg's box. You guys are it right. It's barely glued together. It's like recycled bad cardboard. The model could have been a little better, right? No, <laughs> this is exactly what should be on here. Right. This they poor got, excuse for Jenna Elfman. They got to figure it out. <laughs> I thought she looked like somebody. That's it. Let's say this right, panel has a Jenna Elfman. We're creating more healthy, tasteful, and appealing recipes. It's a recipe. Is that what it says on the box? Recipes. Recipe. Can you make you s'mores out of this? <laughs> Let's say hi to Vinny in New York. Vinny. Yo. What's up, hey, man? man? Hey, I think I saw that in the store. The uh, the free prize inside is an IUD. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bunching up. All right. Uh, well, is there a gay or cereal? No. Well, I'm not. No. Gonna, I'm not going to accept your answer. I absolutely. 
I'm going to do a little you, research to see if there's a, a gay or serial. A gay or serial for a man to buy. Defining like like a straight guy to buy it like that's gay. There's nothing worse than that. No, there's got to be one out there. That is a woman's cereal. That what is about, like there's another woman product. Gay Let guys are probably trying to overcompensate and they're actually buying Wheaties. Yeah. Nobody, right. nobody went with that one. Nothing. I like it. I had to let it sift through. I was, for a I was second. swallowing. I was thinking, <laughs> Obi, Obi, understand me. Wow. There are, there's a cereal out there that is exactly the same ingredients as that. Exactly. All right. But well. it's presented as a manly thing. There are certain products. You ever see like the Lady Bic mm-hmm. razor mm-hmm. and then the Bic Man razor? Mm-hmm. Would you buy the Lady Bic of not. for something to shave with? I think it would. That's what you think it would? Yeah. So There are like men products and women products, even though they're the same thing. Like that's the lady product version of that yeah, like cereal. When you go up Man. to the register, the other thing should be like remember those little eggs with the pantyhose. Right, in right. right. The legs, eggs, all right, pantyhose. All right. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we're saying your cereal's fucking queer. Yeah, if you haven't picked up on that yet. <laughs> yeah, but who, who would know that I was eating this? Uh, everybody now? Yeah, because you noticed I was throwing the box away because I didn't have time to, like, you know, pack my cereal individually like I do. I just don't, uh... I I, grabbed the box and run out today. Yeah. Did you get it in a supermarket or a bodega? A supermarket? Yeah. Uh I I will find a a worse cereal. What about Optimum Zen? That's stupid and silly. Right. But it's not as... As this is the kind of cereal you eat right after you gave birth. <laughs> yeah, a doctor like, will tell like, you. You're thinking about killing your baby because you're so depressed. <laughs> you got postpartum. <laughs> and your doctor recommends, let me recommend Lean On Me yeah. cereal. You can find it at yeah. any fag uh, four, store. Four, four grams of estrogen. Is... Yeah, estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put my baby in the microwave till I ate Lean On Me. Jim from Brooklyn, what's up? It helps to Opie, relax. You didn't ca- Opie, you didn't catch the easiest way out of this of all. What? Lindsay bought it for me. I know, but th- I can't believe you didn't grab that. I, I could, no. ex- I could accept my turn in the barrel. No, you oh, know why boy. that wouldn't have worked? He took it to work, which just shows he had no problem with it. He didn't see a problem with oh, it. Oh, that's right. You saw no issue I with still that cereal. See no problem. Yes, with it. you do. You have to. No, don't show him the cover. Again, maybe he didn't see a good view of it, Bill. I don't have a problem. Look with at it. the woman on her tippy toes on the scale. Look at it. And Dude. not only that, when we when we found it in the basket, your head, everything, just your whole body language just <laughs> was looking right down at the all weather carpet that you have here. <laughs> you were so busy and preoccupied this morning, you didn't realize you left the house with that gay box. Mm. And we- does it does he or does he not rollerblade over here? Um, yeah. on a daily basis. He's been eating the cereal for a while. It says on yeah. the back, 26 box tops. <laughs> <laughs> Get your roller, All right, hold on. This is what I've been waiting for. Joe's going to help me out. Hopefully. They make a version of uh, alphabets, but uh, the only letters are H, I, and V. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Joe in uh, Connecticut. Yeah, hi. What's up, hey, Joe? Hey, uh, there was a cereal that used to be called Serenity, I think. It was made specifically for women. I think that might be gayer. Serenity? Serenity? Isn't that a d- diaper? Isn't that a uh, what did you think an about adult that diaper? I think huh? that was the name of it. It was uh, a general cereal. All right, if we can find a box of cereal called Serenity, that's 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 worse. All depends on what yeah. the box looks like. Why don't we go to your apartment and look in the cupboards? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, he didn't find that in a grocery store. I work at Stop and Shop and have never even heard of that. Really? Yeah. That's a, I don't know where you. That's a specialty store. Like I, regardless of what's even on the box, I wouldn't buy it because I've never heard of it. Like I would, I, and I would have assumed it would have been sitting there for months. It's a specialty store, and you walk in and like the carpenters are playing on the overhead music speaker <laughs> thing or whatever. I'm We've just, only just begun. You. <laughs> Kevin, what's up? Hey, hey. We got a uh, you got a problem over there. You got to be careful of those soy cereals because they contain estrogen for menopausal women. Oh, is that it? That's it, man. They, a lot of those cereals are just they're just you know they do exactly what you were saying, man. They got to keep those women from drowning the babies. Yeah. All right. Maybe that's why I'm not as angry these days. Yeah, maybe. Let's say hi to Aaron in Michigan. Aaron. Oh, B, don't feel bad. I suck dick for breakfast, too. <laughs> Punch it out. What an asshole. You both get your uh, serving of protein yeah, great. Uh, for the day, right no, in the morning. I'm getting soy. 
Soy protein, yeah. Yeah. Look at you just wolfing that shit down, just trying to end this. It lasts forever, my Dude, God. I've been fueling for 25 God minutes. God damn. Opie, how are you going to lose any weight when you... <laughs> well, yeah, you got a whole trough of it over there. Huge Tupperware thing of lean on me. <laughs> I've been chewing and chewing and chewing. This cereal is expanding as I chew. Oh, the picture. <laughs> that is a gay picture. Oh, awesome. There's a picture of Anthony leaning on the box and lean on me on the website. Go to opianthony.com. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, there's a window over there's it. There's a window over it, Eric. You're all excited to show Bill, but he can't say. I'm trying to figure out what the hell that was. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Where is it on the site? Mm. What are you doing, Eric? Trying to find out where that window came from. I can't find it. You can't find it? No. I went to Opie and Anthony. Let's say hi to Peter. Hey, guys. You're, you're, you're forgetting the obvious. Huh? Special K and Strawberry Special K. Strawberry Special K. I've seen that in the supermarket, yeah. Special K isn't bad. It's, it has a Strawberry Super K, which is a little... Uh, yeah, they, uh, they uh, usually got K. a woman in a workout suit or something on the front. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Uh, thanks, sir. Let's say hi to Miles. Miles! <laughs> yeah, I work at a grocery store. Yeah. And uh, we got this one there, and it's called Good Friend Cereal. Oh, is that, that the black cereal. and white couple? Yeah, the black and white couple, and they're all happy on the front. Dude, that could be worse. Definitely. It's called Good Friends. Yeah, and it's a black good guy friend. and a good and, fun. <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, it's I'm a black out. guy and like an Asian woman or something like that. No, it's a black guy and a white, uh, black guy and a white, uh, black guy and a white girl. Yeah, and, and the cereal's called Good Friends. Come on, that's a little worse. Good Friends. I have to see the box. What is that? Wait, don't worry, racist, we're not fucking cereal. <laughs> <laughs> we're just good friends. <laughs> I don't, I've don't. i seen that box, and I, I study it every time I'm in the supermarket. Let me I'm say. I'm uh, trying to figure okay. out what that's all about. I'm seeing it. Good friends. Yeah, show that to Bill. Here's Look. the box. Look, it's, it's, it's uh, Kashi. It's Kashi. It's the Kashi brand. Ooh. This is a clan put that out to kill all race traders. <laughs> That is awful. <laughs> There's different boxes. There's one here with like, uh, uh, looks like a married couple on the front. No, but they're good but friends. But they're good friends and some, then like older. Ma the guy looks possessed. Which one is that? I and then there's another one with what seems to be a couple of lesbians. Mm -hmm. One a black woman, I think, or is she Indian? Oh, I see the lesbian couple. And then the uh, other one. That looks like two actresses jammed together into one. I can't quite figure out. I was like an Eskimo and a grandmother. Look, show Bill Burr this one. Who the hell is, is, are they uh, catering to? It's like an older black guy kind of has his arms around this white chick. No, he's kind of yeah, Asian or Asian. something. He's, like he's Samoan. I don't know what he is. No, but he's like got like Nancy Reagan meets the Killing Fields. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they're trying to throw as many nationalities as possible. Oh, absolutely. Into that couple. That's what they're trying on the box of good friends. Now I see the Asian, but at first I saw the black. Right? Yeah. I don't know, but either way, there's no woman on her tippy toes standing on a scale. True. Let's say hi to Nate in Brooklyn. Nate. Morning, guys. Morning, Nate. I just wanted to know, does the cereal come in a periwinkle box? <laughs> Take it easy, shit thick. <laughs> so you're out of this. Are you, are, what, what, you're going to buy, like, I Will Survive cereal next? <laughs> <laughs> I Will Survive. <laughs> Comes with a little, little <laughs> Gloria Gaynor CD in the box. <laughs> some guy, actually, I found a site about Good Friends cereal, and some guy, I guess, uh, you know how it is these days with your blogs. Mm -hmm. He tried it out. Uh, the box art is some of the worst I've seen for any food packaging, and that includes the white pretzel bag with the black lettering that simply announces you are buying pretzels. The good friends in question seem to be Siamese twins or a special kind of good friends. Two women uh, illustrate my point. Uh, but, but, but then he uh, eats it. Oh, my God. It was horrible. He poured the bowl... Uh, most unappetizing sight of all time. <laughs> he tried it, wound up uh, dumping it into the toilet, dumping his good friends down the toilet, he said. You got, have you seen that one cereal? It's called, it's called Gorilla Munch. I swear to God. Gorilla, Gorilla Munch? Gorilla Munch. What's I was going to mail a box to Patrice just to freak him out <laughs> with, like a, with like a hate letter. You know, when you, when you cut like like all the different words out of the paper. Right, like a yeah. ransom note. Yeah. Oh, man, that's It's like a cartoon drawing. <laughs> of a gorilla. <laughs> why are why are oh god why is Saturday's paper in front of us? 
Oh, two Saturday papers. That's good. Huh? Oh, here's uh, Gorilla Munch. Oh, why would they at throw least the, Saturday's papers in front? At of least them? the cover of Gorilla Munch looks fun. It's like cartoony, right? You know, and the letters are all wacky, kind yeah. of not in, in a straight line. As to there's oh, not a, there's not a wacky. gorilla on a scale. No, not on his t- little <laughs> tippy toes that look like fingers. <laughs> His four tippy toes and his thumb. <laughs> and his opposable <laughs> thumb on his foot. <laughs> he holds the bowl in his foot. Let's say hi to John in Long Island. John, you got to bring him a okay. manual. Uh, yes, either, John. Listen, either eat or talk. Oh. Don't do both. Yo, I want to spit in your face. What, what did he say? He doesn't like when you eat and talk, I guess. Oh. Well, I, oh. I can't help it. I had to eat late today. Let Bill and Anthony talk. They were doing a very nice job without you. He's, he was eating and swallowing and then talking, my friend. I was friend. barely talking there. No, I know oh what he's saying. I God, know what he's saying. that's annoying. All right, John. Well, well, they're saying, by. well, they're making fun of me, and I had to comment a little bit to keep it going. No, Good I can't just sit, sit here and just nod my head like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He had to let the people at home know that he was actually eating the cereal. Right. And yeah. That we weren't making this up. We gotta bring like a manly cereal in here tomorrow for him. All right, Mike in uh, like, Kentucky. Grape nuts. Hey, good morning, boys. Well, I'm sick of the oatmeal, so I'm trying to like you know eat other crap. What's up, Mike? Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, uh, hey, just want to let you know, uh, healthy men's healthy men's breakfast equals grape nuts. Opie equals no nuts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, Mike. Thank Close you. Out, boys. All right. <clears throat> uh, my review on Lean on Me, by the way. Oh, uh, we get a review. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. What's wrong? What do you mean with you it? ate the whole box? Because I had to eat something. Does it taste vitamin-y? It or just, uh, it just what's tastes the like um, it tastes like if you cut up like cardboard. Yeah, and just threw it in a bowl. Yeah, you're not eating those for enjoyment. Well, it's not maybe, like a mm, that's tasty. Maybe threw uh, just uh, just uh, some little little twigs in there. I think it means you have a wedding coming up. <laughs> and then maybe some. Uh, <laughs> you want to be able to fit into your dress, <laughs> right? <laughs> Why don't you go with Cheerios? You like it's nice. What's nice, wrong with Cheerios? Cowardly yellow box. Too, Too much, much sodium. I, no, I like Honey Nut Cheerios actually. You Toasted do. You've grams. never brought that in. I certainly do. I love honey nut I've Cheerios. I've never, I've never seen that. Oh, that's, that's the, one of my That's faves. the gay Cheerios with that little bee buzzing around. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some toasted oats. <laughs> <laughs> little honey, little circle jerk of bees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys done? It was fun. It was no, fun, comedy but... comes in threes. What else do you eat? All you're right. all done it was with fun. your. Uh, it was you're fun. lean on me. You're, you're done with it. The box is empty. I guess you won't be buying that anymore now. No, I don't think so. Yeah. To be honest with you, I, I no, no. I, but I'll try something else. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll try that Gorilla Crunch. Gorilla Munch. Munch. Oh, gorilla I don't munch. see any people. Uh, I don't Les- see anybody photoshopping. <laughs> Lesbians eat that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right before oral sex. <laughs> Gorilla Munch. Well, here's uh, Rich from Philly. Rich? Yo, what's going on, fellas? Hey, Rich. Yeah, I got a slogan for that uh, cereal for you. Yeah. It's their day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, punch it out. All right, bye. Wade in Toronto. Wade. How's it going, boys? Hey. Hey, Billy, when did you ever get up to Toronto, man? What's that? Does Billy ever make it up to Toronto? No, 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 no. <laughs> but we're gonna be oh, part. We're gonna be part of XM Canada, so I think we're gonna have to start taking a look at what's going on in Canada. Oh man, you guys got big time advertising up here, man. But nothing with your billboard yet. Oh yeah, all right. Oh well, we just had a call from Philly. I just want to remind everybody. Uh, someone from Whackbag sent this in. Hey. You guys have a full-page ad in today's Philly Inquirer in the sports section on page 5. It's an XM ad only for Opie and Anthony. It's the first time I can remember seeing one here in Philly, and it's on Uh-oh. E5 in the Philly Inquirer today. Huge one-page uh, Opie and Anthony ad. That's very cool. Thank you, Adam. Fantastic. XM. And I guess we got the same thing happening here in New York in the New York Post and the Daily News. Uh, uh, it's the entire page. That's amazing. <laughs> Full I color. Could... 
I could not look gayer leaning on the lean on me cereal box. I know. You just fucked it up, man. It was all about me, but they got a picture of you leaning on yeah, the box. Yeah, and they're not going to remember either. That's Kind of like when uh, Brittany and Christina kissed Madonna. Right. And people only remember Madonna. Yeah, no one remembers freaking... Uh, exactly. yeah, well, they remember the they remember Britney over Christina Aguilera. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yep. exactly. And uh, the, the full page, Opie and Anthony Ed, is also in the Boston Herald today. So XM coming to the plate today. We're in the Daily News, the Post, Boston Herald, and the Philly Inquirer. All with uh, one page, Opie and Anthony Ed's. Bravo. Thank you. All right, we're going to take our first break. we got Bill Byrne in the studio. We'll catch up with him, see what he's been up to, and uh, we got lots to do. Are there people on the street yet, Anthony? Uh, let me take a look. A uh, couple. Yeah, I see them walking around. All right, uh, one more. Oh, wait, you wanted to say something. I cut you off. I'm sorry. No, it's all right, man. That's all right. Hey, That's Bill, what's the look, man? That new Abercrombie and Fitch shirt he's wearing, is it cut a little low? Can it show his belly button? And if you look under the console, can you see leg warmers on him? <laughs> I don't have <laughs> leg warmers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enough. He actually has on his oversized boyfriend shirt. <laughs> it's oversized? <laughs> I was going to go medium. Now, now I'm paranoid. Is it oversized? No, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going with the with the whole gay bash. Route. That's the look. That's what we started with, and I'm going no with idea. it. All right. I have no idea. we got to go on a shopping spree today, and I, I, I have this no Greg idea. Greg Brady necklace. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you, have, do you have beads leading into your bedroom instead of a door? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with my necklace? <laughs> oh, God. I've been wearing these necklaces for many years, Bill. <clears throat> hey, we I'm, can't all look as cool as you in that ACDC t-shirt. <laughs> <I'm, I'm, laughs> it's not a tiki, it's a necklace. <laughs> yeah, we are going on a shopping spree today. Aren't yeah, we? this is... I well, Wanna talk, We'll talk about that after. All break. right. All right. Who are we going with? Where are we going? What are we doing? I don't know. Do we have answers to any I of those questions? I need answers. Can we get answers to those questions? Because... Because uh, I'm not going to just wander around. They said they have a plan. Let me tell What's you. What's the plan? I want to know what the plan is because I have a huge wardrobe. You really do? I do. Huge. For any occasion. I could be on a go lean box or I could be on a job site and anywhere in between. <laughs> I have an outfit for it all. I don't know why we, we have to go on this shopping. Outfit? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> With the feather duster. <laughs> sure. I put my ass out. Who doesn't? <laughs> I, I want to know why we're we're doing this. We have a photo shoot tomorrow. tomorrow, and apparently they don't think we're responsible enough to bring clothing to bring real that, clothes that reflects what they want to capture in this photo shoot. Right? There's something going on we're not filled in on yet. Right? So they want to take us shopping. And well, look at your shirt. What's wrong with a shirt? fine shirt it's to a come into work with. shirt. <laughs> it looks more like a tablecloth than a napkin, my friend. It's like those picnic disposable napkins. <laughs> I, 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 Anthony is on a recycled shirt. <laughs> it was made out of napkins. Yes, I'm, I'm doing my part. Uh, very good. I just want to know what we're doing and who now is making decisions on how we're to look. Are they going to look and go, no, that's not good? Do we pick out what we wear to someone else? And then we have to say that's good or not. Who are we going with? Let me ask you this. Are they hetero that guys? Are they gay guys? What, is it a makeover? What is this? That that uh, happy one year anniversary poster you guys uh -huh. have there. Who dressed you guys in that? We dressed ourselves, Bill. We did I've seen, that's the best I've seen you guys look. Thank you, sir. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you. Yeah. Sing. I'm wearing a black Kenneth Cole collared shirt. You guys are both doing the uh, I'm good in bed face. <laughs> He's smoldering. No, we got very confident faces. In very confident. Very confident. Very confident. <laughs> All right, we're going to take our first break. Bill Burr in the house today. we got lots to do, and uh, we'll explain it all next, all right? I have no idea. All right, we're back with the Opie and Anthony program. The ONA virus spreading across America thanks to XM Satellite Radio. And thank you to XM for advertising the fucking program today. We yes. greatly appreciate it. we got uh, full-page ads in the New York Post, the Daily News here in New York. Also, the Philadelphia Inquirer on page E5, I believe, and the Boston Herald as well. You know, they advertise here and there. They give us a little spot here and there. But today, it's all about us. Isn't that nice? Very nice. Thank you. Wow, the music shouldn't have ended there. I was, like, really feeling the groove, and I was screaming, you, it's all about us. You put the exclamation point on the end. And then the music was gone. And it stopped. All right, we're going to try something uh, brand new today. Oh, wait, do we have the item? Okay, yeah. All right. Um, I kind of got this idea because uh, recently I've been kind of clearing out my apartment. Mm-hmm. 
I've been throwing away a lot of old clothes. I threw away about 50 pounds of clothes. 50 I, pounds of clothes? Easily. Easily. Maybe more. No interns got any this time around? No, no, no. You, you, guys, to the you guys made fun of me. Um, <laughs> a, a, a toaster that doesn't work. Um, I went through my CD collection. Because, you know, with the iPods and downloading of music and stuff, I'm starting to look at my CDs like, what a waste. Yeah. In did, another did year. you have it backed up on another hard the drive? The ones I want. The ones I want, I got. Yeah, you got to back that shit up. Honest, what are, what are to the be honest, like I, I didn't bail on my U2 collection or my Rolling Stones collection, stuff like that. It was it was borderline stuff. Like, uh, will I really throw this in? And uh, you need shit for the vehicle, though, huh? But yeah, you, I know. Like, still need CDs for the, nah, for the car. I'm all, I'm all about uh, the the XM in the car. Yeah, where it records but, and stuff. So when you're on a cell phone, next thing you know, you, you you go back and see what it recorded for you. I love that. Love that feature. Oh, is that what you're uh, you're doing Dude, with your XM, new uh, XM? As far as uh, driving around XM, all my needs musically. Yeah, so, yeah, because I I have all the channels I I like listening to, and I just pop around, and there's always a song on there I want to listen to. No problem. Mm -hmm. Like ABBA. <laughs> yeah, I use box of lean I, on me. <laughs> <laughs> I use XM for the um the gayer music that you wouldn't want people to know that you're listening to. You can't buy a CD with like you know the music from Greece. But if it pops on the 70s channel, you could sing along with the window I just shot. like watching you just trying to think of some gay music. You're like, uh, like uh, somebody help me. Uh, somebody, anybody. <laughs> Good answer. No, and, uh, That's gay. gay. Gay music, Grace. So I've been going through the apartment. Yeah. yeah and I got rid of um, at least 100 CDs. At least. I got rid of uh, about 10 to 20 DVDs that I just know I'll never watch. What did you get rid of as far as DVD goes? Just give me a movie. Um, like uh, the Brady Bunch Christmas special. All right. Stuff like that. Just dumb Worthy stuff we've dumpster. collected over the years, you know? Yeah. And uh, and uh, I was, like, trying to figure out, you know, do I give the clothes to the homeless? And where do you find one of those Goodwill boxes in the middle of Manhattan? They don't really put those out as much. I have as no they idea to. where you would take your. As a Salvation Army, uh, like on, where though? Like Forty Sixth. Oh, all right. So I had to pack up the car with all oh, that stuff. Perish the thought. Hell no. And so I I came up with this idea, and I wish I videotaped it. I just started throwing the clothes out on the railing in front of my apartment. Uh huh. And thinking, there's no way people are going to grab the clothes, or maybe they will, but it's going to take a long time. Mm -hmm. I am telling you, within minutes of throwing anything Pick out clean. on my sidewalk, it was gone. It's old shirts with like with like pit stains. It's jeans that uh, just uh, just horrific things have happened that, in that's these in, jeans. Though. Huh? That stuff is in. Yeah, I guess. And then CDs that are half broken, the cases are broken. Some CDs I didn't even have the cases for anymore, and I just piled up out there. And people were going by and rummaging through my shit. They took every single thing that I left outside my apartment, including the toaster that doesn't work. Why would anyone take a toaster that's out Ugh. in the street? Dude, Dude, first of all, yeah, it's just disgusting. And, you're gonna and you know it's not going to work. It's, yeah, you're going to put your bread in there and yeah. it's been on the streets of Manhattan. It's my new favorite hobby, though. Now I just walk around my apartment and I try to find stuff I don't want anymore mm -hmm. that, that is kind of junky and I just throw it out there and then I peek through the blinds and watch how long it takes for it to go away. And and, and it's unbelievable how fast people will just take anything that's laying around. I mean, on doesn't the, the average man, I mean, I, anything I see on the street, I just think automatically it's been jizzed on. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm not touching. It could be a $100 bill sitting there. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Disgusting. Oh my God! Old <laughs> old Christmas presents I never used or opened. Just whatever Still I could find. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we uh, started uh, looking around the studio, mm -hmm. and we found five items, five items that we don't want anymore, or never wanted, I should say, because now I'm looking at this list. Yeah. Um, we have these five items. Teen Lust DVD, mm -hmm. a fine porn. That's we, porno. Now, why wouldn't we want that? We have about 20 copies. I know. Everyone took one home. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there, there's a couple left over. Then we have the Guys Gone Wild DVD. See, this is a great idea. It's just like Girls Gone Wild. All right. Only it's guys. Only it has lots and lots of cock. What money-making potential <laughs> there. The dicks out and starts swinging them around. Yeah. <laughs> College guys are kissing each other. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to sell. So Who came up with that idea? Just because, like, chicks, college girls making out and showing their tits sells like fucking gangbusters. 
Uh, yeah, we'll just do it the other way with guys. I got, you know it's just gay men buying this uh, pot. I got a great idea, but no one will take my phone calls yet. Uh-oh. Tard's okay. gone wild. Ah! Tard's gone wild. Tard's. Now, I, I guess this would feature uh, retarded people. Just doing what they do best. And what would they be doing? <laughs> just doing just, what they do best. <laughs> just like... But they're always going wild. <laughs> what well, they are, really. <laughs> truly. Just like like walking and throwing a fit. Yeah, pitch this to us. <laughs> well, one of my dreams is, is what is it? One of my dreams is to see tards have sex. <laughs> it's wow. one of my wacky dreams. And it doesn't work when it's actors playing retards. No, no, it's like the be, other sister. It's got to be the real thing. When it was, uh, yeah, I just want to see tards having like monkey sex. Retards having Badly. sex in the movies. No, nah. real retard. Boy, yeah, I have never seen a retarded porno. Retard porn. Is that illegal? There would be a market for uh, it. I don't know. Some exploitation thing, I bet you. Did we find if a loophole? of age. Did we find a loophole in the in the porn industry? Get yeah, it. Why don't you call, call the it. police station right now and just ask that question? Just to the <laughs> off Listen, I'm very sure the video. Is it illegal um, <laughs> to have two retarded people have sex? They're both consenting. Yeah. They're both... <laughs> Over 18. We're about ready to videotape this. We're just, yeah. we just wondering. The set's here. Everything's done. They've stopped drooling for the time being. We really want to shoot this thing. Where's uh, Steve? Steve would know. Uh, Steve C. would know. He is the porno expert. We'll find no, everything about pornography. So anyway, uh, just to get back to this as we get Steve, we got these five items. The Teen Lust DVD. <laughs> we have the Guys Gone Wild DVD that we got off Jim Norton's desk, by the way. Here's Steve. <laughs> With the fluffer in the background. Uh, don't do that yet. We're, 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 we're still trying to get clearance. Steve, what do you know on tarred porno? You I don't. I, I know that there have been titles that have been made that advertise themselves as being retard porn, but I'm trying to determine whether or not they're real. I mm. per personally don't think they're real. Now, if you just get, like, mental disorder porno, people could fake it. Yeah. You need what we're talking about really yeah. here. Swollen tongue is, retard porno. Yeah. Is Down syndrome yeah. pornography. Is the good old DS. I think there right. would be an issue with the, the consent, because, you know, you, you could always argue consent for some, you know, that you didn't get it from somebody who wasn't necessarily all there mentally. Here's what I believe just kind of, running it through my head for a very short time. I think people with Down syndrome, obviously, uh, uh, many of them have to live with their parents for their entire lives. Sure. So you can't, like, just approach them and, you know, get them away and get them on a set to do porno without So we need to draft up some sort of permission slip. Right. It's got to be a permission <laughs> slip that the parents can sign. Unless you could in in infiltrate one of those assisted living communities and then... You know. There you go. Now that we need some maybe that are a little more handy capable, as sure. they can say. <laughs> Steve, you came up with that a little too easily. I, I'm always thinking Steve's about Steve's a problem issue. solver. Yeah, I really am. <laughs> I, all right. I think it's all about the hidden camera. Go. It's all about the oh. hidden camera. <laughs> now you're in some serious trouble. All right. Thank you, Steve. Set up a play date. Steve, our porn expert. A play date. There he goes, Anthony. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there goes Steve. Steve is almost out of the studio. He's looking for his keys. And there he goes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell when a bit's like wearing thin yeah. and almost done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'll almost have five more open spots on my instant replay here. <laughs> I was thinking about that. We need to update these uh, these puppies. All right. So then we got the Guys Gone Wild DVD that we got off Jim Norton's desk. Uh, Jim will be back a week from today, so I don't think he'll be missing that anytime soon. Mm hmm we also have a copy of Blacktail magazine. Blacktail. Blacktail. This is all just black women. It's all naked. Yes, uh, with uh, big old uh, big bo asses, bootes, big booty. I don't know. Do we have that with us? Yeah. Do you have that? I'd like to see that. Oh Jesus! To thumb through that. They've Bruce. already photoshopped uh, Patrice's no. head oh, on the <laughs> on the box uh, <laughs> Gorilla Munch cereal. Oh, I'm sure if you scroll through there, there's probably a few of you and your yeah, uh, great. Lean on me. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> the Photoshop people. Oh, they Photoshop me? You bastards. <laughs> Told you. All right, anyway. We also have the Mighty Kong Gigantic Veiny Dildo. <laughs> I didn't even know we had that. Oh, and we went with this? I thought we were going with some uh, something else besides. I thought we had a fifth item. Yeah, we do. The T-shirt. Batman Lives. Uh, Bat Boy Lives. Bat Boy Lives. It's the uh, week weekly world news picture of Bat Boy. Let me see something. 
Uh, Nathaniel. Yes. Do you have the Bat Boy Lives t-shirt? Yes. Did I put the wrong thing on the list? Yeah, we don't want the Esteban Ramirez CD fly with me. Okay, fine. Esteban. Esteban. You see his infomercials at night for his guitar and, and guitar a, learning book? And a Bat Boy Lives t-shirt. I've seen Peter Brady. He's doing workouts. He's hawking that... Uh, that lounge chair that moves. <laughs> That's right. all it is. That ab uh, thing. Yeah, yeah. And it really works. Whew. All right. Oh, that collapsible awful. lawn furniture. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Guys, let's uh, let, let's do this right away before. Are we ready there, Mars? Yes. All right, what do we do? Just move over? Yes. Oh, we got to move? Yeah, we want to check this out. All we'll, right. We'll open. explain what's happening in a second. You move... Uh, Oh, we got mics. Okay. And we have headphones right too? away. Uh, wow. My mic. All right, Thank are we you. Mic'd? Oh, this is so weird. It's the first All time right, cool. we've ventured out of the studio to do anything. Live on the air. Uh, there's your mic. Oh, this is Christ. Why do I get the, uh, you get the a hurricane? Wire. Look. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and all your ships are safe. There's a hurricane coming. All right, we have okay, low slip sink ships. <laughs> what the hell is that? Can you get a fuck? What? Yeah, here. Anthony, throw the headphones on. You're going to need those. All right. Oh, all the ships at sea. Let me do I get the headphones with the fucking antenna coming out of the side? I don't even think you get headphones, Bill, unfortunately. We're here on the floor this of the bullshit. Democratic National Convention. All right, here's the deal. We're outside the studio. Yeah. Looking at the cubicles, which uh, are still here. <laughs> yeah, when are those things going to be gone? <laughs> That's wonderful. going to be gone. All right, uh, Nathaniel. Yes. All right, so Nathaniel's on the oh, streets of New York. Here's the deal. I'm going to test my theory, like I was talking about a, a few minutes ago in the studio, Anthony. Oh, Why Anthony's got the full horn. out there like a state trooper? Uh, no, he, we got spotters and everything, dude. We set up yeah. this bit all morning. So basically, just like my apartment, how I noticed you throw anything on the street, people will pick it up. We have chosen these five items that we don't want anymore from uh, from from uh, our office. It. Yes. Where is it? All right, Nathaniel. Yeah. Oh, he's down there. Why don't you start spreading the items out on the sidewalk? Hey, do we have a uh, stopwatch? I want to see how long it takes to get these items. Uh, stopwatch. Uh, I have one. Uh, all right, here we go. So the items that are going to be on the sidewalk, and, and we just got people on their way to work. We're going to see who picks up what, okay? I'm looking at a, uh, there's a lovely young lady walking down the sidewalk there. A, right. A gentleman uh, smoking a cigarette. Right. Another woman with a shopping bag and a cup of joe. Right. Walking down the sidewalk. Uh, right. Just your ordinary going to work kind of people. Right. And we got Danny out there as a spotter and Nathaniel on the cell phone. The five yeah. items, once again, you guys ready to spread them around? We yeah, got do the, you have a, a particular order you want or just you want no, all just, five? Pretty, just just right throw them around. Right. We're going to spread them out uh, uh, about a half a block. Maybe All, all the items yeah. at once? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because then, all you know, we're going to see who picks up what. The five items, once again, is the Teen Lust DVD, the Guys Gone Wild DVD, wow. the Black Tail Magazine. We also have Mighty Kong, the gigantic veiny dildo. <laughs> and last but not least, the... Bat Some lucky boy soul's gonna grab that and the video. That's a two for one. <laughs> and we're high atop uh afternoon of cock. <laughs> cock. They gave me headphones with like one side's working. I, you guys are really sending a message to me right here. Oh, Bill. Oh wait, I, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm All right, the black tail the magazine is down, right? I see it over there. Okay. Where is that's, it? A, that's a DVD. That's a DVD? Where? Well, Where? tell Danny to stop fucking staring at it. He's like two feet away from it. Oh, right uh, there on the side. It's kind of close to the it. wall. Yeah, both of you guys need to like walk away. Yeah, like, definitely. Hovering over it. Well, I'm trying There's to see a black oh, man oh, black right guys there. Looking. Black He's guys checking looking. it out. Black guys checking it out. Uh, all right, what uh, what DVDs down there? Is that the, uh... the teen one? All right, the teen That's lust the teen DVD. One. Oh, here oh. comes a rabbi. Oh yeah, they love There's black chick. Big fat guy. Love black chick. Pick it up. Pick it up with a yarmulke on. Didn't even notice it. Didn't notice. All right. uh, a construction guy is coming out of the building. He didn't notice it yet. He didn't notice uh, an Asian woman All right. walking. Uh, she didn't notice. Danny oh. has casually put down what? The other DVD, Nathaniel? I believe that's the Guys Gone Wild DVD. All right, so now we got the Guys Gone Wild on the, the subway grate. You know we got what, the though? Teen Lust DVD up against the building. What yes, is, Anthony. Too, too close to the wall of the building, I think. Why aren't, shouldn't they put it maybe more in the middle? There are people just missing it completely. Wait. Here comes a woman who probably ate the same cereal as you. Oh, is she going to look? All right. She, no. She walked See, right she, by with our Starbucks. She's not even looking. I think they need to be in the middle of the sidewalk. Yeah, this, All right. I'll let Danny know. Yeah, this, yeah. The, this is the problem with New York. Uh, they don't really look. Uh, here comes uh, Chris Rock. A, a, a black <laughs> gentleman in a, in a business suit. In a suit. All right. The Bat Boy Lives t-shirt is down on the sidewalk as well. 
All right, we got we got. Oh, there's a guy checking out the Bat Boy Lives T-shirt, but he passed it by, Anthony. All right, Danny is now putting the um. His. The, I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I, say, I say the T-shirt goes first. Oh yeah, we were supposed to bet on this. You think the T-shirt? Well, nothing. There could be a cock on that T-shirt. Nothing people like better than no. a free T-shirt. This guy's got like two huge bags of them. This would be easy to pick up. Yeah. For him and stuff away without embarrassment. All right. Good. Nope. Now All right, good. items now are in the middle of the sidewalk. the sidewalk. Very good. What's that one? The uh, DVD. That's in the middle of the sidewalk. Is that, that the teen one or the? Uh, that is guys. the guys gone wild. Guys DVD. gone wild. Nathaniel's okay. like Joe right. New Yorker on a cell you guys phone. Guys gonna step on it like no. All right. Just missed it. I don't Come think on, the T-shirt's gonna go though. That Who guy would just want a T-shirt? At it and that just ruined his morning, jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> this guy with a huge backpack. All right. Ready for a subway bombing. He's gonna walk right. He almost stepped on the Bat Boy Lives T-shirt. Oh, that's the black tail oh, magazine. Oh, see, I didn't know it. Looked, it's, you can't put it against the door. It looks like it's being delivered there as mail. Yeah. Nathaniel, make sure all the items are right in the middle of the sidewalk. All right. All right, this woman's passing the uh, guy's gone wild. Oh, she's, she's staring at the blonde. She kind of took a look. The blonde took a look. She definitely took a <laughs> Here comes another guy. He's looking at it out of the corner of his eye. All right, we're getting some action now. That <laughs> some, it's like fishing. <laughs> yeah. Now that you've got to get the lures. The sidewalk, we're getting some action. <laughs> The girl just looked at the Bat Boy Lives T-shirt with the horrendous the 80s hair. Now this will be uncomfortable. Come on, look at it. Look at it. There it is. Oh, there, there it is. There she it is. Does. She just looked. She saw what it was. Wow, she slowed down. She wants to turn around and get it so bad, but she's with a gentleman. She won't bring it up to her gentleman friend. That's right. a little embarrassing. When are we uh, dumping the dildo down? <laughs> the dildo. All right, this guy, is he going to look? No, not even a glance at the uh, gay porno. All right. What's going to be the first item that they pick up? All right, this is a young couple. You know, what, you know what I think curious. the problem is? There's too few people down there. You know what I mean? It's just too wide open. Sparse. Uh, we got, uh, we so got action, constant, though. It's a constant flow, though. Look at this terrorist. All right. He's, uh, he's got to pick something up. <laughs> Nathaniel, tell him to drop the dildo. Is that a pimp walk, or did he twist his ankle? I think he... Oh, oh, oh. oh we, we had oh, a guy, guy oh. kick it. The guy kicked the uh, Guys Gone Wild. Guys he's Gone Wild DVD boy was kicked. Shirt. Oh, this guy! Look at, look at this child molester-looking dude here. He's gonna kick it. Oh, oh he just missed it. kicking it. Is that Fred Rutherford? <laughs> all right, Nathaniel, get the rest of the here. items down there, man. All We're right. all on the sidewalk. Oh, wait, the guy's coming out of the director's guild. He's uh, gonna look oh, now. He's got it. He's he wants it. Oh, Grabbing the bad boy. Yeah! Oh, bad boy shirt. Bad boy shirt. You cheap fuck! The. Hey, enjoy the shirt, you cheap bastard. <laughs> Get him, get him, go ahead. He's All right, back. the Bat Boy Lives t-shirt. What, He's you like, can't afford clothing? <laughs> you can't afford your own clothes? What the hell is that? Oh, the guy's... Oh, he just grabbed his balls. He's You're just... picking up garbage clothes off yeah, the Yeah, pick screen. it up again, you cheap... <laughs> pick it up, you took it once. Don't, don't leave it now like you didn't want it. <laughs> All right. The... Now he ripped, oh, he ripped it. ripped it up. All right. All right, why did you rip it? You know you wanted it. <laughs> You cheap bastard, what's the matter? Your wife doesn't give you an allowance for clothes? <laughs> He's so pissed off. This guy is so pissed he, off. He just stepped on the shirt and ripped it. He really wanted the Bat Boy Lives t-shirt, but then Anthony called him out, and then he had to rip it up in front of us. He was grabbing his balls and telling you to go fuck yourself. Go uh, tell your wife you need money for a shirt. You cheap bastard. <laughs> All right, Anthony. Uh, too much attention right now. <laughs> Very good. Uh, All right. Well, it's okay, but it's New York. It clears in a second. Officially. You look like that dude. What's that dude in Scarface? Don't fuck me, Tony. Don't, <laughs> don't you don't ever fuck, fuck me, me, Tony. Officially, the Bat Boy Lives t-shirt went first. <laughs> yep. Nathaniel, what's going I on down it, there? I called it, man. I called it. Nathaniel. Danny's just trying to think of the perfect placement for the A-bomb of... Uh, items here. Oh, the big dildo. Yeah. yeah. Where's the Black Tail magazine, by the way? Wait a minute. Here comes a group of guys. Someone's going to pick it up. Oh. Uh, the Black Tail has been reacquired, ah. so you can put it better. Uh, put it somewhere better. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here yeah. we go. You want it? You want it? He's looking oh, at he's it. Oh, he's looking. Oh, two older gentlemen <laughs> kind of glanced down and... Now they feel awkward together. Yeah. <laughs> they just glanced down at the Girls Gone Wild the DVD. Guy on the cover of that? All right. Well, now we got a guy and a girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy's going to grab something. Definitely. Definitely. No. Ah. All right, Boy, he really looked like he was going right toward it. They both walked by the Teen Lust DVD and the uh, Guys Gone Wild I'm DVD. I'm a little like Geraldo right now. All right, yeah. There's going to be something. Something's going to happen. I right, know. Nothing. No. That gay couple right there is definitely going to pick it. Oh, no, that's Danny and Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, 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 look at this guy. Nice, oh. nice. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. 
Oh my god, a guy just picked up the guy's gun wild DVD. Oh, oh. Oh, you didn't like the gay porno? <laughs> What's the matter, sir? Didn't like the guy's gone wild? Back it up, Michael. <laughs> he picked it up. He picked it up and put it in a phone booth. Well, he noticed that uh, he was had, and he, all of a sudden he was making believe, oh, I'm just cleaning up the streets of New York. <laughs> and then dumped it off at one of the uh, bus stop things or whatever it's called. I thought, he, you know, he, no, you got to defend that guy. He thought it was regular porn. He walked three steps with it. And then yeah, that's what it was. Oh yeah, yeah. Then yeah, it was the. Uh, Thank God that phone booth was there for parade us. Parade of cock and no vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a minute, you know. All right, Danny, get Danny to get the the guy's gone wild DVD and throw it back out for the offering. All right. Who the hell uses oh. a payphone now? There are a couple of guys that are coming back out from where that uh, guy took the shirt. Yeah. And went in all pissed. I don't want them grabbing all the shit. All right, Ant uh, Anthony, uh, Danny's trying to drop the dildo, but he's very nervous to drop the dildo onto the sidewalk. He's itching his head. He's on the walkie-talkie. I got a good one. Where the hell is it? Where, where, where is the dildo? He's still, he hasn't dropped it yet. He's also got to pick up. Uh, no, no, now he's going to get the uh, Danny's going to drop it. The gay porn is from Danny the phone Is Danny going to drop the dildo? Yeah. Oh, that you're saying Than, because no. he doesn't have no. a bag. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, where's the dildo? Oh, it's up his ash. <laughs> All right, now where's Danny? See, there's more people hanging out in front. All right, well, because we were yelling and screaming at yeah, him. Yeah, but you have to. The guy picked up gay porno. They still have no idea what we're really doing. We're just no. kind of controlling the sidewalk right now. Nathaniel, what's going on down yeah. there? Where's the Black Tail magazine? Uh, he still hasn't thrown that down? Oh, that guy uh, just checked it out with a book bag. He did, but then he picked it back up. Do you want me to just, uh, you know, light a fire under him? Under Danny? Yeah, what is he doing? Why is he taking so long? I think he's... Uh, oh. We're not... We're he's stuffing stuff into his jacket. He is, I believe uh, the A-bomb is just going to drop out of his jacket. As oh, I got gotcha. you. See, the thing about Manhattan... He's holding on to it. Look at it. You can tell yep. he's got a... It's in it. his jacket, and now he's going to put his jacket down like he's tying his shoe. Okay, he's doing the old tie-the-shoe scam. Uh, the guy's watching him. Yeah, yeah, there's some guy watching him. Maybe. Oh, no, they're sweeping up the... Uh, oh, <gasps> he's sweeping up the porno. Oh, he's destroying the... Oh, you're angry. Sweep it up. Don't break it so you can take it home later. Sir, you're 63. You're not scaring anybody. <laughs> this guy just came out of, uh, out of the... Hey, how many days a week do you dye your hair, you old fuck? <laughs> hey, tell me exactly where it went wrong that you're sweeping a sidewalk at your age. <laughs> when did it go wrong for you, sir? Look at you with your janitor pants. Get a real job. <laughs> we might need a uh, venue. Did any of those keys open the one to your dreams? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you calling me down with your little fucking broom? <laughs> he's telling us to go down. He wants you to go down there. Hey, Nathaniel. He's calling yeah. you out. Go, go that way. All right. Because this guy's going to be a problem. we still got two great items. Yeah. He, he jumped He's up and down. He's a great villain for the show, the, the bit wrecker. <laughs> the bit wrecker. There he is. Look at him. He jumped Get up a and, picture of that guy. He jumped up and down on the Teen Lust DVD. Yeah, don't forget the cigarette butts, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is outside his building, <laughs> sweeping up. He wrecked our bit. Bit wrecker. Bit wrecker. All right, we, uh, we've moved on to another... Uh, Another area. Another area of the sidewalk. Hey, you missed the spot, loser! <laughs> <laughs> the guy's just trying to Keep sweep sweeping. the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, that Christmas bonus will be huge this year. <laughs> oh, that's right, you don't get one. <laughs> yes. What's that? You want to suck my what? <laughs> Yell louder. <laughs> Oh, that guy hates oh, you. Oh, is he pissed? That guy he is pissed. He's, he's calling you guys down to the sidewalk and everything. It's easy to taunt from five now floors Now he's trying up. to ignore us, now that we see his real job. Right. <laughs> All right, well, we have moved on to another sidewalk. Danny has dropped the... Uh, what Black is, Tail magazine? No, this is the... Oh, uh, wow, look at that. Dildo. You can tell that's a giant oh, dildo from up God. here. <laughs> There's a huge wow. dildo. It's that, the is a, that is a dildo. Uh, and a, called, a black guy's guys, coming by. It's called the Mighty Kong Gigantic Veiny Dildo. That's exactly what it says on <laughs> the cover. The, the black guy's looking at it. All right, we got a guy in a business suit with the Starbucks <laughs> coffee. He hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> and get, drop the Black Tail magazine, too. Oh, is that That great? thing is hideous. <laughs> it's huge. We're down to what? Two items? 
the Bat Boy Lives T-shirt was picked that's up. Scarier than a, that's scarier than a rat. You think this guy might uh, pick it up? No, he's looking at. He's looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, that guy just gave it a little look. All right, we're getting some huh? action Black now. chick, little oh, white black chick. Black chick's going to ah, kick it. Black chick's going to kick it. All right. I totally well. missed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy might be able to use it. Stanton Moore. Oh, my God. Come Most people it. are walking practically right over the damn thing. Well, this guy's got to see it. He's looking down at his phone. He's going to trip over it. Let's kick guy. it. All right. Wow, amazing how many people don't even notice it. Most people don't even notice there's a huge dildo on the uh, sidewalk. Black guy's out. looking at it I don't think with the uh, iPod. Right. Now, this guy, what the hell is he? Nathaniel, uh, where's the black the tail is? magazine? It's in a blue little suit. It's coming. Okay. Well, hurry Nobody's up. Nobody's going to pick that up, man. You don't think anyone, uh, what about this woman in the pink pants? It it's huge. She's going to see it. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> ah, she gave it a, a quick glance. <laughs> Didn't want to make like she was looking at it. Uh, no. And there goes our own Danny. All right, Danny, make him believe he's Joe. Uh, is he whistling? He's whistling he really a happy is. tune. The uh, the magazine has been dropped. Oh, I see. The, okay, now right. we got the Blacktail magazine on the sidewalk and the gigantic veiny dildo, the Mighty Kong. Mighty Kong. Here comes uh, an Asian still gentleman. sweeping up. <laughs> Fuck Sosa and Sosa. Fuck the fucking Diaz brothers. <laughs> what? Don't get high on your own supply. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're back. Hey, there. Frank, you know what a hustler is? <laughs> it's a pig that don't fly straight. <laughs> oh, the black chick checked out the uh, dildo. We're getting just a few glances here and there. Probably so had far. a bigger cock last night. <laughs> All right, we got. Hey, sweepy! <laughs> and we got the guy still sweeping the sidewalk over there, who just wants to kill Anthony. Yeah, he is not happy. All right, we got a guy checking out Blacktail. No, all right. Oh, oh, this guy's gonna trip over it. I fell on it, and it went up my ass. <laughs> that would be a hell of a lawsuit, can you imagine? <laughs> Tripped on a dildo. All right, we got two things left here. We also have, uh, we recovered the guy's Gone Wild DVD. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, really? Throw that back down, too. Just throw it right hey, in. Hey, the... which DVD did that guy crush? Uh, the, the Teen, teen Lust. Lust. Teen, teen Lust. Lust? Well, why don't you bring him the guy's Gone Wild? Maybe that's what he wanted. <laughs> Watch him take his anger out on it. The guy was trying to show us by jumping up and down on a DVD called Teen Lust. And he did show us. And he ripped... What a man. Oh, got uh, three more walking up to the dildo now. Yes. This guy's giving it a look. He's giving it a look. All right, great gray sweater. Look. I see it. He he, he, he took a very long look. <laughs> He's got a gym bag. I think he already has one in that gym bag. No, no I think, you know, I, you're right, Bill. I don't think anyone's going to pick that up. That is just People are afraid to even look at it. All right, this woman is walking up with a Dwayne Reed bag. Right. She could slip that. Oh, oh. Whoa, she, oh my! <laughs> she looks like she was going down for the bag. Nah, she's magazine. looking. At, she's gonna trip up. She's gonna kick it. Oh, uh, damn it! Should we move it in the middle of the sidewalk even more? It's pretty middle of the sidewalk there. You think? Yeah. Oh, uh, here comes a, a little old uh, couple of old ladies walking right, right towards it. Here they go. Oh they my God! It. This oh, woman is. Oh, on, yes, she's, gonna, she's gonna trip over it. Oh my what God! It's right in front of her. Oh my oh, God! Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, 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 what is it? She took a really good look, and she actually... Hey, wait, wait, remember that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, the look was priceless tonight. The depression wasn't all bad, was it? <laughs> Are we filming some of this, by the way? Yes. Oh, okay. I hope so. All right, here comes a woman uh, walking down the sidewalk. Yeah. She's got a little green jacket on, very smart looking. She's got she a really beat is, on it. She? Let's go down the street and talk to Nathaniel nope. for a second, Anthony. He's picking it up. And Nathaniel, what's going on? Um, a lot of people are, you know, curious, but they're not biting. They're not biting? No. All right, we're 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 experimenting here. Yeah. We'll make this even better next time. Uh, the, uh, we're standing at about five minutes on the uh, dildo. No, we should do it with the dildo, Anthony. What, take Atta- it out of the wrapper? No, attach it to a, oh. fish, a oh. fishing line next time, and when someone does go for it, you <laughs> start reeling it in. Reel it in. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny about all that shit laying on the sidewalk? It's almost like there was some sort of illegal porn bus. <laughs> and people just ran with, grabbed what they could. 
and jumped in a van. <laughs> All right, we got a fat. Oh wow, a really fat woman, or that could be Tyra Banks in a fat suit. We're not sure. Yeah, don't come on, you fun. know you need it. Here she goes. Now she's headed right for it. I can't. Right, come on. What come do you on. think? What do you come think? On. What do you think? She's looking. Look at it. She gl- gave it a glance. She but gave then it a really good. It got glance. covered up by her bunt. Maybe the dildo's too big. No shit. Maybe the women are intimidated by the size of the thing. Yeah, maybe the fact we're on the fifth floor and we know what it is. <laughs> it's a little too big. A little yeah, Asian couple the... walking by. He could use that, I'm sure. If you could see the veins from up here, maybe the... Oh, here's a man big. crossing the street to go get it. Uh-oh. He spotted it. What is it. this guy? Haji, what is this guy? On, is it like an Indian guy? Yeah. No, he made a beeline right for the porno. Oh, he's going, wait, right for the magazine. No, and he passes it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and you still made that sound exciting. <laughs> and nothing is happening. Oh, oh, oh he kicked, just it. kicked it. He the kicked, just the kicked the dildo. He oh. kicked. Hey, your foot's a queer. <laughs> hey, car <I'll> kicker. <laughs> <laughs> People are just uh. trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Oh, sir, now he's mopping. Now you got your boss told you to get the mop. <laughs> Anthony, that guy's gonna start shooting, man. You can't, you can't make fun of what no, a guy does. No, if he had a work. gun, he'd have used it on himself. What do you point, already. You point where you're gonna start mopping? <laughs> He's pointing at us again. I think this guy's gonna be waiting for us after the show today. I'm not gonna shoot you, Frank. Hey, Nathaniel. Hey, the... Manny, shoot that piece of shit. <laughs> Is the guy's got wild DVD back on the sidewalk? Yeah, it's just, uh, just past the phone booth. Just past the phone booth. Oh, all right, I see it. Okay. It's your oh. tree, Frank. You're sitting in it. <laughs> All right, we got a Asian lady just looked at the Black Tail magazine, walked over the dildo. The dildo is closer to the middle of the sidewalk now that it's been kicked. Right. And, uh, oh, oh, she just gave the, uh, uh, the it, porno it, a little there glance. There you go. There you go. Oh, that there guy's like, hey, ah, what? Got a nice look. Now he's look looking at this. Hey, uh, grab it, grab it. Oh, he, that guy studied all three items. But no, no one wants on to that. pick it up. Never no broke one his brave stride. enough. No one brave enough to pick it up. All right, what do we got? You know what? There has to be some sort of prize here for someone who has the balls to pick that thing up. Yeah. No one's going to, though. Would you, as a sane human being, pick up a huge dildo that's laying there? No. I think a trap door would open and you'd be slid well, into some gay is. slavery. Uh... At least it's still in the packaging. Now, if it was just out there like it was like the Which we may have to do. <laughs> All right, here's another gentleman giving it a look. He's looking at all three just items. A that's what New York's all about, isn't it? All right, a black hey, lady hey. just stepped on black tail. All right, now this okay, black okay, couple okay. All right, come walking on. by. Oh, oh she, she just stepped, stepped on it. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, she stepped on that dildo. Oh, now wait, they wait, turn wait, around. Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. all right, here we go. Here we go. She's, all right, gonna pick she's it up. bending over. She's up. standing over it. She's standing over it. She's picked it. She's picked it up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She's picked it up. She's going to take it. And now the guy just freaked out. The black lady picked up the Mighty Kong gigantic beanie. All right, and it's time to unload on her. All right. What's the matter? He can't supply that cock you need, honey. <laughs> you like that white cock you sell out? <laughs> what are you going to do with that, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah? Where? Which way? <laughs> no, there's a kid on the street now. Can't be old. Oh, my God. Can't be old Unapologetically. Old. She's walking up the sidewalk. Proud to be the new owner of the Mighty Kong gigantic veiny dildo. She I like, never would have thought that happened. Wow. She she's not it. even hiding in her in her fan. Go talk to her. She's not even hiding it in her coat or anything. Oh, that's great. Wow. Absolutely. She picked it up. Oh no. All right. This oh no. Get that porno. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, the oh. kids. Go <laughs> look at it. All right. We almost had disaster. <laughs> There's kids walking down the side. A little blonde oh my girl God. was It's like they're walking them. through a minefield. <laughs> oh, no, the magazine. Oh, no. They're looking. Oh, don't look. At the... Oh, she's skipping. She just skipped right over the black <laughs> little magazine. Boots. That was close. Oh, the black lady picking up the dildo. Classic. It's exactly what we were looking for. Sad thing is if Norton was here, we would have been jerking off to that whole scenario. <laughs> hey, ring that mop out there, champ. Ring that mop out. Anthony. <laughs> I love that guy. All right. You know what he's going to do? He's going to send a... Oh, wait! He's going to send a fucking wait, wait, hit wait, squad wait. up guys, here. Guys, guys, guys. A guy just picked up the Guy's Gone Wild DVD. He's stunning oh. it. He thought it was regular porn, or, or, or does he? He's walking away with it. Yeah, you like that stuff, don't you, fella? Guy's Gone Wild, and it looks like... Where is he? He's keeping it. He's keeping it. He's reading all about it. Look how he's walking, dude. What is it? It's he's a uh, very gay. 
Is it a black guy? Yeah. yeah. A black guy just picked up the Guys Gone Wild DVD. He's keeping it. He's mm-hmm. keeping it. And we're letting him get away. What the fuck are oh we doing? God. He threw it in his bag. It's official. He's yep. keeping it. He took it. And he went back to his Snapple. And finally, we got the uh, Blacktail magazine. Of the three, I would have thought that that would have gone first. Yeah. I, I definitely wouldn't have said the I just can't pick them the way I used to, you know? Nah. Started off the season. I was up 200 <laughs> bucks. I should have quit. All right. I guess that's it, guys. What do you think? Yeah. All the great items were picked up. Yeah, I think once the uh, giant cock left. Do you want to yell at the poor guy who has to mop for a living one more time, Anthony? Uh, no. Hey, you know something? It's not the fact that he was mopping. There are plenty of hardworking mopping people that I have no problem with at all. It was the fact that he jumped up and down on the teen porno and ripped the, uh, the Bat Boy shirt. That's right. No reason to do that. He's an angry, bitter bastard. All right. And You're I- an angry, bitter bastard. <laughs> Just wanted him to know that. <laughs> All right. I, I think our experiment uh, worked out quite nicely. What do you think, guys? He looks Very like John fun. Turturro in The Big Lebowski. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to lick that fucking <laughs> mop handle. All right. You guys got to get the video up of the black lady getting the gigantic veiny dildo. The she had no pop. qualms. Oh, that was classic. All right. Nathaniel, thank you so much wherever you are. He's down there somewhere. Yeah, no problem. All right. The Blacktail magazine will have to just kind of sit there for now. All right. Yeah, just leave it there for some lucky uh, person to find. All right. We're going to take a break, and we'll continue with the Opie and Anthony show after these messages. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony program. During the break, the Blacktail magazine also went, Anthony. Yeah. All five, uh, five items are now uh, gone in the hands of some fine New Yorkers. <clears throat> Someone grabbed it up. I love that new bit. And one angry janitor. Oh, yeah. man, the janitor was great. <laughs> First time we've tried that bit, and uh, now we'll hone it and make it ours. Mold it. We'll mold it. Yeah. It was funny. The guy thought he was, like, showing us by jumping up and down on the Teen Lust DVD. <laughs> I hope we have a video of that, because his anger... It's just uh, amazing. We have I just like when he, when he he just grabs his fucking yeah dick. he grabs like his when, when, dick when, through his pants and like hey when was that insulting like that guy came of age like in like the late fifties yeah he was bah, 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 bang, yeah. bang, bang, <laughs> dang, yeah. dang, dang. hey ah you <laughs> <laughs> say he's singing doo wop songs with like a yeah. fire in the fucking <laughs> grabs his cock take thing. that daddy o <laughs> 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 Blue moon. <laughs> He's like slicking his hair back with his comb. He was just really pissed. Yep, 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 yeah. Nah, nah. Go. I plan on being a race car driver, and then I'm gonna retire by the time I'm 30. <laughs> Mop the floor. He was just pissed because he really wanted that Bat Boy Lives T-shirt, and we called he, him out yep, on it. And he, then he couldn't take it. And he's like, "Fuck." Yeah, that's right. He was taking that in. Yep. He was taking. Gonna keep it. He was gone. He was uh, one step in the building, basically, and then Anthony uh, heckled him, and then he 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 had to do something. Now then, he was mad. He couldn't look like a guy that wanted a Bat Boy shirt off a sidewalk, so he uh, ripped it in front of us and grabbed his dick. You only should have done dick. like the video hey, of Vernon yeah. Shirley. You put your yeah. thumb under your front tooth, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> you, yeah, you take your thumbnail and kind of flick it. Underneath your uh, that might have been Carmine from Laverne and Shirley. Carmine Ragusa, the big ragu. ragu. (laughs) That was the big ragu. All right, we're gonna have to come up with some other items next time. And I don't want to wait. I think we should do this bit next week again. Fucking Fonzie. (laughs) That's what happened to the Fonz. He used to be cool, turning on fucking jukeboxes by hitting them, and now he's mopping, (laughs) sweeping the sidewalk. Too old for the Pulaski twins. (laughs) Yo. Let's go to Big Dick, uh, Big Dick McGee. Big Dick. Hey, boys. What's up? Hey, what man. up, bro? Just, just wanted to tell you, that's the best thing y'all have done since you have been on XM. Oh, look Still at that. yelling at that janitor, the funniest shit I have ever heard. People like it. I see him uh, becoming a recurring character, janitor it, guy. <laughs> Anytime yeah. you want to yell out the window funny. to him. Yeah, definitely. He, Not yeah. as friendly as like when Letterman would do that thing where, you know, He'd look out his window and make a phone call or something. He's always very cordial. We want people to just start shooting. Like, this guy's going <laughs> to one day just fire rounds up at us. <laughs> yeah, let's see how mad we can make him. You need a, you need a, you need a spotter at the window. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's mopping the, the sidewalk, and then you just run with the bullhorns. What that do you, was great. What do you say every morning? Yeah. I say uh, next time he comes out, well, tomorrow, we just 
yeah. shoot him with water guns. <laughs> <laughs> Super Soaker will make it across the street. <laughs> throw, throw, throw a self-help book at him. Water balloons from the fifth, uh, the fifth floor. Or how about we get, you know, I've watched Jackass many a time, and I know there are people that can vomit on cue. Just to vomit in front of his place, so he's got to go out there and mop up puke. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just get people to puke. The ideas are endless. <laughs> oh, that poor bastard. I'm already feeling bad for him. See? What happened to me? That was great. <laughs> and then the black lady with the, the giant uh, white yep. dildo. That was very, very funny, she, too. Uh, she picked it up. We, no uh, no we, qualms. We got video. I don't know. How long does the video take? <laughs> Later today, probably? <laughs> yeah. uh, tonight? Early in the morning. All right. So uh, later on today, you'll see the video of what we just did. Yeah. Up on uh, foundrymusic.com and opianthony.com. Jinx in New Jersey. What's up? Hey, me? Yeah, what's up, yeah. Jinx? Uh, I was just listening to Howard because I don't have XM in my car. Bastard. And he said that he invented best of. <laughs> really? Yeah, he said, uh, nobody did best of before me. I had to save my tape so people could do best of. <laughs> It, it, it's called reruns. I would love to abuse Howard, but there's a commercial for my uh, one of my Goline uh, on uh, on TV right now. Goline. Yeah, it looked like a, a Kotex commercial. <laughs> right. All right. Well, he invented best ofs. That he did. What hey, about the? Um, I'm looking forward to the master list of all the things he invented, so we all know. Officially. What about the rerun? <laughs> what about like reruns? That's the. Those are best ofs. That's what they do. Ah, that guy is amazing. Have fun, Howie. Have fun. How about you do a radio show? Mm -hmm. Let's say hi to Sean in Staten Island. Sean, what's going on? Hey boys, good morning. Good morning to you, Sean. I just must say that was so fucking hilarious, especially when Bill Burr yelled to the janitor, "Yo, do this keys open the door to your dreams?" <laughs> I almost, I, I fell over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I that was fell a great old line. The bullhorn was a, a nice touch to the bit. Yeah, I must say. That, All right, thank you, Sean. Look at us just patting ourselves on the back. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. Good job. Good job, sir. We have Francine here. Uh, she came in Friday, but we were too busy. She's going to do the news for us today. When is she? Is she ready? We don't want to make her wait again. We got a little mm -hmm. Michael Jackson story as uh, we see if Francine's ready for the news, Anthony. This hit the wire today. Listen to this. She's ready to go? All right, wow. get her fine black ass in here. <laughs> well, Michael Jackson is relocating to the Middle East, to a part of the world where he is still famous as the king of pop. The Post reports Michael Jackson has bought a piece of property in Bahrain, just a quarter of an acre, on a man-made island. Cost one and a half million dollars he's expected to move in early next year. And uh, Jackson has pretty much stayed out of the sight and out of this country after his acquittal on child molestation charges. He bought a quarter of an acre. A quarter of an acre. What is a quarter of an acre? That's not Did much. Did you hear all the kids screaming in the background? Yeah. It's molesting them. <laughs> oh, isn't a quarter of an acre like the size of this studio? A quarter of an acre is not very big. And for a million and a half it cost? A million and a half. A million yeah. and a half, but on it's a, his own island. On a man-made island. It's a, like, is it his own island or is it on so. an island? It's a man-made island. I think they have a bunch of things on this thing. On, so he has neighbors? Island. Yeah, I believe that so. That have other, like... Yeah. Quarter acre plots. Yeah, he's pretty much going to have to deal with neighbors. Yeah, but they're like neighbors from Bahrain. This guy can now do anything he wants. They don't, you think they care what he, Michael Jackson does? Why don't they just move to like Thailand? Yeah. Just, just forget trying to cover it up at all anymore. <laughs> just, just get move it over to Thailand. And just move there. <laughs> where everybody goes to get young boys and uh, just molest just them have on great TV. great conversations over there. That's what I was saying. What is the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> just videotape it. Send it to America, the taste. Here I am having sex with a young boy in a country that's a little more accepting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He's a he's a free man. Yeah, he's guy, guy uh, forsaken the United States of America. He lives over there now, and they'll they'll leave him alone. Yeah. And what does he need more than a quarter of an acre for anyway? A hit album. One. Yeah. He might need one of those. Might need a hit album to have the money keep uh, coming in. But what do you need? You got a quarter of an acre. You build one big bedroom in it. Uh, a bathroom to put some. Uh, uh, gay porno and Jesus juice in, and that's yeah. it. The all new Neverland. Some short pants and some loafers, and you're good to go. You're all done. All he needs is a bed. You're right. All just a bedroom. 
It's going to be one big bedroom right. with a huge giant bed for the little children. Oh, he could have got acres and acres of land. But, <laughs> but when all he needs is a bed, ah, he's not going to have furniture. He's going to have like those big wooden blocks with like the letters on the side of them. <laughs> <laughs> because Neverland was just a ruse to get the kids in there and to make it look like he wasn't doing anything bad. That's what all the acreage there and all the, the rides and the animals oh, yeah. and all that shit. He's boiled it down to the lowest possible thing he needs. He had a choo-choo train. Yeah, he had a train. This is all shit he needed to get kids in America and stay out of trouble, or try to anyway. Now it's been boiled down. Well, I won't get in trouble here. I need a quarter acre and a bed <laughs> and, a, and a phone to order. That's it. That's all I need. It's like Domino's over there. Three kids for five bucks each. <laughs> <laughs> any topping, any race you want. <laughs> they probably put, love having them over there. you put some mushrooms on his nuts? <laughs> <laughs> they probably just love having him over there. You know, he's a celebrity. Hey, we got Kevin from Maryland. He says he's been there and he can explain what uh, Michael bought himself. Oh, I guess. goody. Kevin, what's up? How much? How you guys doing? All right. Good. Um, I've actually been to Bahrain. Um, it's one main island, and then there are a bunch of tiny islands all around it. I'm sure there are a couple that are man-made, but you probably just got a little rocky dink island, nothing but sand on it. It's one big desert over there. It's right next to Saudi Arabia, and uh, probably just got a cheap little place over there. Actually, a lot of rich people are from Bahrain, so one half million dollars is probably just about the average. Mm. Yeah, I can't imagine he's getting a lot for his money over there. No, no, he's not. I mean, with all the oil tycoons over there and everything like that. All right. All right. That's it. Thanks, guys. Oh, no, thank you, sir. Let's say hi to Nick in D.C. Nick? What's up, boys? Uh, hey, Nick. I uh, I go over to Bahrain uh, every year, and uh, the funny thing about that is the men over there sleep with women sleep with women for pleasure or for reproduction and men for pleasure. Don't so, they I mean, have, like, boys? Yeah, I mean, the guys are walking around holding hands in public. Their wives are standing by their side. I mean, it's real crazy over there. It's real fucked up. Yeah, there's like, they look at their women like j just animals, like dogs that are just there to make them children. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, I'm in the yeah. When yeah. I'm over there, they look <laughs> no, like I'm like, an expert. I have a mic in front of me. <laughs> they, this is what they do over there. Yeah, it's crazy. But, but as far as, like, some sex goes, I've heard there's a lot of D DL. We got a down low. We got cops? What, the cops? Wait, Mars, get over here. I don't know. i just seen them. I'm going to go out there and check now. We have yeah. cops? Lock the doors. Oh, uh, yeah. Why don't we have cops? We didn't do anything. There's no we, problem. We, we've been in here doing uh, the weather all day. We're a broadcast facility. We were broadcasting. <laughs> Let's say hi to Steve in New Hampshire. Steve! Hey, yeah, you guys are trying to figure out what a quarter acre is? Yeah. It's 104 feet by 104 feet. 104 feet by 104 feet. That's like tiny. You bought a studio. All right, Mars, what's right. going on? Yeah. I guess the cops are inquiring about what happened earlier this morning. What Nothing happened? happened. Exactly. Yeah, what, what do they want to know? Uh, I don't know. Destroy that video. <laughs> Destroy what, the video. What now. video? Yeah, there's no video. Here we go. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, Merta. <laughs> Why is everyone hiding? Oh, Merta. Oh, Merta. <laughs> Remember. You say nothing. You guys, we're we're working on... Um, ben, come here. What now? We're working on the rules where the interns and stuff have to uh, throw got... themselves in front of in front of us so they can take the uh, hit. What? Why is Poe laughing? Why is Mars in the studio? Uh, the guy across the street called the cops. Oh, he did? Yeah. What, the janitor? Yeah. yeah. What a baby. Uh, Call the police. Are you kidding? I knew it. Uh, where are they? Try to tell them you took they it too left. far. They're gone? Yeah. Yeah. We can't we we can't do that again. Can't what? Do what? Yeah. No, yeah. What, what no. happened? What can't we do? That guy called the cops. It's supposedly illegal to do that on the street. To do what? Yeah. To do yeah. Putting stuff on the street and then yelling at people. Can't do that. What? What stuff? Oh, we'll do it again. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll do it again. Remember now now if this ever happens, let's make a contingency plan here. Yes. Has everyone seen Superman 2. Remember where they uh, break out of the um, the uh, three criminals from Krypton break out of the glass thing, and uh, they they go to the White House and ask who the president is, and the guy stands up and he kneels before Zod, kneel before Zod, <laughs> and it's not the real president. You get my drift here? I got it. This is what we need to do before any cops really get through those doors. If it really looks serious, a couple of you guys. Are gonna have to be Opie and Anthony. Should we be right. having to? <laughs> I'm sorry. Two of you guys are gonna have to sit by the mics and just take the hit. Hey, I found my match. 
Who? Bill Burr. Close Bill enough. Burr is going to do it. We need a enough. Bill Burr, too. Close you can't enough. throw Bill Burr. Bill Burr. He's not sacrificial. He'll be the, the Opie stand-in. I'm talking. Just because you, you, you looked apart a little bit. I bet. More than anyone else around here. Will Bill be my stand-in? What? Bill the intern? Yeah, Bill the intern. Bill the intern can be me. That, right. Which will be crazy. <laughs> I'll have, like, warrants out for me for murder in the jail cell. <laughs> Anthony Comey escaped today after killing five people in the jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> when, they, yeah, when, when they brought you in, you confessed to, like, seven other crimes. <laughs> <laughs> find all kinds of drugs on him. What do you mean you can't yell at people on a sidewalk? <sighs> I said we go. No, I, th I think another thing is. Well, I mean, thank God they didn't see the uh, the thing that wasn't there. The thing that wasn't there, huh? Yeah, it's a good thing they didn't see that. Now, as far as the legality of this goes, since I do have a microphone, yes, I believe the only real problem here mm -hmm. is the bullhorn. Why? There's something about amplified voice that is a disturbance that you, you're not allowed to do it without a permit. Amplified uh, vulgarity? Or, yeah, vulgarity, stuff like that. Although I don't know if the vulgarity is that itself something else you is, haven't uh, really researched? No, I, but I have Mike. Yeah, okay. It's right here. Look. Why don't we get real experts on the phone? I do believe. We have lawyers in the audience. It's, it's, you're, you're allowed to say anything. We got the NYPD. They love us. Once you say it through a bullhorn, it enters a whole other realm. And you're not allowed to do that. So there's no problem with what is being picked up? And that, because I don't believe, is a problem either. I know selling it is a problem, but dropping something on the street that might be... Yeah. Is uh, that guy still out there? Can we call him a baby? Just really quick, because no one's going to Baby. Talk. I, I, I said, think the cops are down the street waiting. Hey, they fucking do pussy, you're going to call your mom? <laughs> this is what I say we do. We got the video? Yeah. I think we got to Photoshop other items into the video. Oh, like so, little, so the black a lady, puggle. yeah, the black lady. Instead of picking up the gigantic white dildo with the veins called yeah. the Mighty Kong, yeah, there's a puggle she's picking. A up. puggle. <laughs> it's a garment bag. I don't know what kind of um, right. problem the items are. We got Billy Mac. He knows the deal. Oh, this is this segment is called He Knows the Deal. Yeah, we know Billy Mac knows the deal. Billy Mac, how you doing? What's up, guys? Just coming back from Charlotte, North Carolina, listening to the bit, to that bit. It was excellent. By the way, you just need a sound device permit. You can get that from the local precinct. A sound device permit. That's it. And then, uh, and then you can open a window and uh, shout down to somebody. Well, pretty much. You kind of have to like uh, lie a little while you need the sound device. But yeah, that, that's what. It was. <laughs> well, and what what, what are the rules with uh, certain items being on the uh, on the sidewalk? The old sidewalk. What if there's a dildo on the sidewalk? There you go. Well, has it been used? No, no it's, it's wrapped in the package. <laughs> brand spanking. Brand now. new. Oh, I don't think you put that there, all right. Well, let's say, for the sake of argument, we did. Yeah, would we be able to? It, what what is the law uh, against putting a dildo? On the sidewalk. I don't think there's any law that says you can't put it there. You're not selling it, so you don't need right. a headless permit. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that as long as you're not selling it, there's not a problem about porno being sold somewhere or well, you know, obscenity. Yeah. The yeah. The janitor might think you're littering, though. And can we get away All with it? Right, it could be a littering problem. That's like how they got Al Capone. Ah, Al Capone on littering. <laughs> yeah. A littering <laughs> ticket. Who cares? That's going to bring down the Opie and Anthony show. A no. littering ticket? Please. Uh, we got, we Where's our balls? Where do they go? <laughs> and can we, can we go across the street and punch the janitor in the face? What <laughs> no. would we get for that? I, I, isn't that what you got, Matt? Open oh, hand. No. We'll slap him. No, we personally want to do it. What, what would happen to us? Just one good punch to the face. Oh, I think that would be fine. No, how many thousand? Nah, how many you... thousand? Uh, maybe a desk appearance ticket and about ten grand. Yeah, you probably got to pay that guy off. You don't want to do that. Right. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to hit him. I just want to annoy him. All right. Yeah, I, just... I want it. Now it's like a battle. Now he got the last hit on us. Yeah, as long as sends the cops up. And Anthony, do you Russell really Rowe. believe he's going to get the last hit? He's just winning right now. This is, <laughs> this is his first he win. Has, he has the ball. He's got a nice drive going. Is that guy out you there? You think we're not going to pick it off and take it back for a touchdown? Uh, is he out there? Uh, I like the puke idea, though. Let me see. Yeah, I like the idea of sending people over there to vomit on his sidewalk. I want people puking in front of his sidewalk. <laughs> is he out there? No, I see a big wet spot, like, right in front, like where his mop was. Yeah. So he was out there. Uh, if I know my mop bucket puddles about 10 minutes, hey, he's been gone. Hey, make sure Mars has the, the mics uh, near the window, because the next time he appears, we're going to run. Uh, we could yell without the bullhorn. 
No problem. Yeah. He'll be able to yeah. hear us. Yeah, though. I don't think there's any law against yelling out a window. Well, well, you people used to do it all the time. Right. You Alice, you have a phone call. Come on. I, I, honey, I'm mad as arresting. hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Maybe I'll rest in people left and right. Come All on. right, guys, punch it out. Thank All right, you. there you go. The Billy Mac. cast of West Side Story. You guys, that ends Billy Max. He knows the deal segment. Everyone wants their own segment on this show. Lawyer Kev is going to add to this. Lawyer Kev, what's up? Boys, a scumbag lawyer Kev. How you doing? Oh. Hello. Hey, Kev. Listen, they're full of shit. You can you can put anything on the sidewalk. You can't use the uh, the bullhorn unless you got a sound permit. Billy Max, right on that. Right. But um, the sidewalk stuff is just bullshit. As long as you don't draw a crowd, and then they start saying that it's disorderly conduct, which is a violation. It's not even a misdemeanor. Now, I think there is a problem. They could get you for littering. I mean, possibly for littering, but I mean that's not even a violation. You know. Yeah, but, that's. But, but what if you bullshit. intended to pick it up afterwards? Then like. Then there's the, it's not littering if you put it there just to put it there to attract attention to it. That's correct. I would say that has to go to your intent, Anthony. So therefore, right. since you didn't intend to litter, I think you'd be okay. But now, what? okay, what about if the box has, r like, really rank porno pictures on it? Well, I mean, again, there's no, you know, thank God for New York City. There is no, uh, in New York State, there is no law against uh, against photographic pictures being displayed. I mean, you walk by those those newsstands all the time, you'll see a couple, uh... Yeah. Do they actually have them right out there where anybody can walk they by, do? look oh, in, yeah. and in the newsstands and see uh, tits? They might have a, a tiny, tiny little uh, little star over the nip. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing, though. The, the tiny star means something. But oh, No, yeah, no, there is, because I remember my, uh... My little sister came down here to visit, and I was walking through the village, and I was yeah. like, Jesus Christ, you know? Yeah. Oh. Every other block you went to, there was just Gay something. porn with a All right, Laurie, Kev, little thank star you. over this not huge even heart that. on. Not even that. I'm just talking about uh, regular good old heterosexual oh. sex. Oh, Josh that, from Rochester. Josh? Yo, why don't we call up Howard since he's done everything and ask him what the legality issues are? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a great idea. idea. Let's get Howard on the phone. Call up Howard since he's probably done this before because he's done everything in radio. <laughs> right. uh, let's ask him because he'd know the law. <laughs> oh, you guys are great, man. Ah, oh, Josh, you rock. Let's say hi to Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey. What's up? Hey, listen, uh, you got a few problems potentially. Number one... Uh, you got a problem with the possibility of using uh, profanity. Now, what is the law against profanity? Well, that's that's disorderly conduct. How? Uh, if, uh, look, the how disorderly. I've heard. Hey, dude, is it true? I've heard disorderly conduct is the rap that is like the universal fucking rap. It is. It's it is. If, it is. if you need to get somebody on something, but you don't really have anything, you could always get them on disorderly. It is, and and uh, it would have to be witnessed by a police officer. That's half the problem because it is only a violation if somebody. Right. So somebody, uh, let's say a guy right, with listen. a mop, can't tell a cop that listen. somebody was yelling at him profanity. Then yeah, <laughs> listen. Can I cut to the chase here? He could. He could make a complaint, but you got a couple other things. If Hold on, I want to cut to the chase though. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. The Opie and Anthony show is not worried about disorderly conduct. I wouldn't be they worried. Could, if we'll, I was... we'll take that uh, with no problem. Wait, wait. They take. You, they could take you to jail for that though. Hey, It'll be worth it. I don't want to go. I'll take the rap on disorderly conduct. I've heard Anthony about the baloney. will take the rap on. Uh, will you take littering. the rap on littering? I'll, right. I'll take littering. All right. What else we got to worry about? You can handle fifteen day rap anyway. Fifteen well, day. If you if you continue to go after the guy, then the the, the mop guy, uh, it could be considered uh, harassment. Harassment. Yeah. Harassment. If you use electronic means, then it could be aggravated harassment, which now you're rising to the level of. A what if we yell through a rolled up newspaper? Oh. No, that's, that's just harassment. That's only a 15-day wrap, so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, and the, and, and the only, only, what I see as a potential problem is if any uh, kids get a hold of the porno. So you have to be right. About see, that. now, what if a kid's walking by and glances yeah. down at some uh, pretty uh, graphic porno that's on the packaging? Then not going to know what a dildo is. That could is. be something like, what, uh, endangering the welfare? It will now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. uh, that could be a little be rough. I don't because I thought it was funny myself, but I just want to give you the story. No, we kind of like knowing what the laws are. I mean, yeah. uh, so that way when we break them and get hauled away, at least we're not asking questions. <laughs> yeah, and you, know, and you know how much time you're going to have to do. All yeah. right, boys, punch it out. Thank you, Thank man. you, sir. Yeah. Uh, I got to tell you. Oh, we, I wanted to ask him about the puking. Uh, I Is gotta, there a law against puking on the sidewalk? 
I, I just figured this all out, man. The Bill yeah. Burr line really went, hurt that guy. Oh, to the, yeah. To the point where he's like, fuck those the guys. The key to your dreams? Yeah, Stop I, it. I got to call the cops. That killed him. See how he's already that, ratting me up? He's already that, anticipating that the cops went, coming up here, that went and he's right, saying that I was the guy. <laughs> that went right to his soul, man. That guy did not <laughs> like that one. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Well, let's say hi to Greg in New Jersey. Greg? Hey, fellas. How hey, are you? Amen. All right. Listen, I was just thinking, if you guys put porn on the sidewalk, don't you think they might come after you for some sort of bullshit corruption of a minor because you can't control who's walking down the sidewalk? Yeah, that's what I think. There'd be something like that. So, Well, we had something in place that uh, protected us from that. All right. Punch it out, guys. All right. What? We have something in place? We did. Like uh, a couple of guys... That could have snatched it up real quickly. Yeah. Hey, kids coming. Get it out of there. Exactly. Mm -mm. They're not taking this bit away from us. We're going like to do it again. We're going to do it again, and we will have the video up on the yeah. website. Can we get Sam Adams to sponsor this? We'll call it <laughs> Sex Toys for Sam. No? <laughs> it sort of rings a bell. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of son of Sam. <laughs> well, he's bad. Sex for Sam, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> no! Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now shut up, stupid. Grab your, uh, mop. <laughs> yeah, I want mop guy. I want him now. He is mine. He will not get away. He called the cops on us. What a he pussy. called the cops on us. What a pussy. I, I have a suggestion. Oh, oh Francine. Jesus. Drive by in your Escalade on a, on a rainy day and splash him. And splash him. He wouldn't be out there on a rainy day because it would be raining, so he probably wouldn't be mopping or sweeping. Is there an awning? Why don't you put a, just, just put a T-shirt no. out there. No awning. Just put a T-shirt out there. Put a T-shirt out like bait. And then put it, get a put, wait for a big puddle, and then I'll sit there and, and drive through it and splash him. Let's go yeah, to Josh go. in Brooklyn. Josh? Yo, what's up, guys? Hey. You, you guys are on regular radio. You break every fucking rule. You get a guy to get a hummer from a dead monkey. All of a sudden, you get on XM, and now you're worried about breaking the rules? I'm with Josh! I'm not worried about... Where did about... our balls go? I'm not worried about breaking the rules. I'm worried about getting arrested for it. Well, I'm not built for jail. There's there's, <laughs> there's there's getting arrested, then there's getting arrested. This is like, ah, getting arrested. Let's look at who we've had arrested. All right. Uh, Rick, our old producer, Rick, mm -hmm. who is like a, a monster anyway. Right. Like, Rick was very strong. He's good for jail. Uh, probably Jimmy took over the prison. Probably dead. Took over the cell, ran things for a while, cigarette concession. And then uh, Jimmy Norton. Okay. He, he's been arrested because of this program. Sure. Uh, Jimmy looks too crazy to fuck with in jail. He's one of those guys. And he's not cute enough to the guys to want to have sex with him. So, much Jimmy's to fun. his chagrin. Yeah, much to his chagrin. <laughs> yeah, a little disappointing for Jimmy, but that's just the way it worked out for him. Uh, Louis Black. Louis Black, yeah. Comedian Louis Black was arrested for this program. Um, he, he just, I don't know. It's Louis. What's he going to do? He's like the guy that they would go to to get legal advice, you know, from, you know, how do I get, the, the, well, what you got to do is get the lawyer, and, well, and, he and moves, they wouldn't fuck with him. Yeah, he moves no. too much. They, yeah, they would. They'd fuck with Lewis? He'd be like that guy in the end of Boogie Nights on his knees crying. <laughs> <laughs> you think? I think Lewis would hold up good because he, I don't know, he, he is a little crazy, and he's kind of knowledgeable. They might be able to use him for something than just... What, like okay, a Shawshank sex. Redemption? He, he yeah, get, he, he could do he their get taxes. The, he get the boys some suds. <laughs> some some beers for doing the roof work. And then uh, Psycho Mark. Psycho Mark, Who, yes. you know, by name alone, you just don't fuck with Psycho Mark. Right. Me? I'm done. I'm done. Look at me. I weigh 145 pounds. Psycho Mark will get stabbed. If you go in there with a name like Psycho now. Psycho like, Mark. What you you got to prove yourself. Yeah, you think you're crazier than me? Yeah. And the Tim Robbins character got raped repeatedly in that movie. <laughs> Even in Hollywood, you get raped. Yeah. Even in the movies. Well, see, that's what I don't want. Uh, you go to jail, Opie. Uh, you going to take the rap? I'll take the rap for stupid littering or disorderly conduct. That's easy stuff. Are you willing to get raped for it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a ticket. <laughs> if, if it comes in a ticket that the cop writes up, I'll take it. We can't be pussies. This is a new bit I like. 
I like it too. And we've just begun with it. We're going to develop it now. We just threw the idea around in the office, and then... all you're doing is figuring out the fucking parameters. That's, That's all yeah. we're doing. Yeah. We're not saying we're not going to do it. We're just pushing, seeing where where, where it gets. Yeah. That's all. all right, well. That's all I'm trying to say. How many times? It's a How think tank right now. This but, is a think tank. Yeah. Hold on. By the way, a lot of people they like to argue, you know, that we were crazier on commercial radio. Uh huh. Anthony, how many times have the cops been by the XM Studios in the last year? I know of at least three times. The one incident we don't talk about. It, I think it was three th three <laughs> times. What happened? One incident. We can't even talk about we it. We can't even talk about it. It cannot be spoken about. Can you nope. speak well, in, I, like, uh, we metaphors? Give you, uh, we'll give you a few um, things that happened because of it. The Jägermeister machine, the frozen Jäger machine was removed from the premises. Right. Uh, it served something sexual. frozen Jägermeister. The closet locked the closet permanently. locked permanently, and <laughs> uh, all IDs have to be double checked, triple checked, <laughs> copied, checked again, <laughs> and then checked <laughs> to make sure that girls are 21. <laughs> wow. And there's a new rule: guests of the Open Anthony Show should be able to walk back out onto the street right by themselves. Don't fuck the drunk guests was another thing that came out of uh, the uh, Norton was in studio. <laughs> Don't fuck the underage drunk guests. It's just a, like a, a, if I could be subtle with this thing is one of the side effects. Was it an employee? Was it an intern who did the fucking? Alleg allegedly. I don't want to say because he's, you know, 3,000 miles away now, so I don't want to give away who ah. it might have been. And we should be a little more responsible and make sure the girls have their clothes on before they wander back out onto the street. Right. Right. Just right. little things Jesus like that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still on the air? Yeah, fuck it. Thanks to? I, th we're just that's a all. comedian. Thanks to a fellow comedian. That's right. Who the cops recognized and started talking to and kind of... Got them off the, uh, kind of calmed them down a little bit, uh, because other women coming to work should never have to say, is she dead? Yeah. Why, <laughs> why is that girl being loaded into an ambulance? Why are the cops coming in? <laughs> wow. Is, we, you know, a radio show should never involve when a guest comes in after the guest leaves, is she going to make it? Shouldn't be like something. It's like, Will she be, will she live? Ah! After all this shit happened, how much more of a broadcast did you have to continue doing? Um, was it the end of the show? It was the least? end of the show. Oh, thank God. And uh, again, I thought it was the end of the show. You don't, you listeners have no clue how close you came to losing the ONA show <laughs> just mere moments into it. <laughs> we almost fucked this up so quickly. Thank God the safety, the, the, the gates came down. And uh, uh, helped us out. So guests of the Open Anthony show shouldn't walk behind Anthony and try to jump out the window because they think it's a door. Right. Right. Just things like that, Bill. Mm hmm They shouldn't be so confused that they mistake that huge window for a glass door. <laughs> Choking on vomit shouldn't be something that guests do, guests of this program. It's like hang out, talk, entertain, plug. Choke on vomit. It doesn't. <laughs> no. I'm saying no. I'm saying no. You, you people have no clue. I want to see the no video. Clue. You got video of that? Video. 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 They almost so many things, Bill. They almost gave us lobotomies so we would forget about it. So there would be not even a mental record of no, what happened that, that uh, day. It was that black bad. thing in front yeah. of your face. <laughs> What's they a flat. lobotomy? A lobotomy, yes. <laughs> so they remove part of your brain to... um. Members of uh, yeah. the Opie and Anthony show and their guests shouldn't go home with their hands, especially their thumbs, smelling like they were handling fish at the Fulton Fish Market. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Which oh. now recently closed. <laughs> See, I'm trying to twist this into yeah. something more decent. Moved up to the Bronx. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
It okay, shouldn't I got be. It. I got it. <laughs> guests of the Opie and Anthony show stay at the Mount Sinai Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't be like one of our plug That's right. plugs at the end of the show. That's right. All the other talk shows, uh, you know, at the yeah. end, it's like guests stayed at the Parker Meridian, the uh, lovely the Parker W, Meridian, the, the, you know, the w yeah, yeah, right, the Sheridan, <laughs> right. We don't want to be running a little commercial at the end of the show that all guests stay at, stay at the hospital. <laughs> It was a little touch and go there for a while. We were, we, you, you people were so close. Let's just say for now on, the wiffle ball bat has to have a uh, safety feature. Yes, yes, a safety feature. No pine tar plus, past the label. No, no, those wiffle ball bats <laughs> now, they don't just go anywhere these days. <laughs> they used to forget about it. They'd go anywhere. They've been, How come I'm you know, never in studio for that kind of shit? Lucky you. <laughs> lucky you. Can you bring in Believe Bob me. Kelly to be fourth chair? I want to see some shit like that. That was, uh, yeah, we've had to put some regulations on the uh, on the bat, on the wiffle Let's bat. Let's just say, for now on, pushers have to be sober. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of rules came out of that day. Yeah. That we adhere to on a daily basis, Mr. Burr. Okay. You know, if, we didn't if get a band wants to offer up girls... For plugs of their music, uh, check ID, check ID, check ID, <laughs> check ID. Never, ever, ever take girls' word for it, ever, ever. No matter how good they look, <laughs> how willing they are to go into various back rooms with uh, cast members. That's yeah. all I'm just trying to say. Just okay. trying, That's all to we're trying to say put it in a it, way really. that you can understand in a, a code. Mm. You know, like we have been, kind of dancing around the subject a little sure, here, I understand. Sure. Might be How hard come to we never tracked. gave uh, Danny props for the, uh, the way he, uh, the little technique, the old school technique for putting the dildo on, on, on the sidewalk? Yeah, that was very creepy. Why was he so nervous to drop the thing? To tie the shoe. Because it was an 18-pound <laughs> milk-white dildo <laughs> with veins in it. All right. Where's that audio, Eric? Ah, Danny comes in to talk and then just gets chased out. Hey, by the way, if you guys have a really nice digital shot of one of the Opie and Anthony billboards, I would love it for my uh, personal collection. I want to frame oh. it because it, it looks great, and they're all over the place. There's there's one on Exit Not 60. going in the public gallery? Your there's, personal collection only? Yeah, there's one on um, Exit 63 on Long Island. Is it right Expressway. next to the controversial 50-cent billboard? Yeah, there's no controversy with our billboard, unfortunately. None. That would have been a smart thing to do, though. All right. Yeah, you're out of shape backs <laughs> with, a mic, with a mic and a bullhorn. <laughs> Not a bad idea. All right. Uh, why don't we play this audio? We were just talking about Howard and how he said he he invented best ofs, Anthony. That's the latest thing. All he's right. On. I guess, uh, once again, he has no real radio show to do today. Hit it. And I didn't bring this up to Joel the other day because I didn't want to confuse the issue after the suspension. But I was just like, you know, five years. After the fake... Suspension. Fake suspension. Howard did the oldest trick in radio. He did a fake suspension to try to get people talking, and they kind of talked. Wasn't as big as I even thought it was going to be, the whole suspension because thing. Because I think the media picked up on the fact that it was a fake suspension. Yeah. He took election day off, and may believe he got uh, suspended for talking about his uh, his new gig too much. But he talks about it all the time anyway. It's like, why did they pick that one day or instance or anything? It's it's It didn't add up. It's great because his listeners are slowly but surely, uh, they're on to him, you know? Mm-hmm. They're starting to, to get on to him and all his bullshit. And I didn't bring this up to Joel the other day because I didn't want to confuse the issue after the suspension. But I was just like, you know, five years from now, you won't even care. You know what I mean? You just won't even care. You'll be doing whatever it is you're doing. Do, do the nice thing. Let me just have my tapes. I, I mean, See, what is the big deal? Okay, I so I, I didn't negotiate it. Shame on me. I could have. I'm sure five years ago I could have gotten that. Oh, he can't oh. take his tapes. See, there's the problem. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. You can't have your tapes. Oh, I didn't negotiate it. Well, yeah, you didn't. No, they don't negotiate Sorry. that shit. Yeah, they don't. When you work for a radio company, this is what sucks about this. We don't own this shit. No. We, we don't, don't own, own this it. shit. Later on, let's say we make a half a billion dollars, you might be able to approach Infinity and go, I'd like to buy uh, back some of my stuff, and you know everything's open for negotiation. So he may eventually get something back, but he's going to have to pay dearly for it. Oh, yeah. 
Forty million for the collection. Where'd you hear that? Where did Hawk hear that? Were you in Earlier. on the deal? Huh? Early in the audio, he said forty million. They wanted for his tapes. They want forty million for. And the that's for all collection? his tapes. Mm -hmm. You know why? They're gonna be able to use that stuff. See, if I was Infinity Broadcasting, I would just, I would just play the old Howard shows when he was good. Play it. Oh, that Start on tape number one. Tape number one. And let it rip. And let for it roll. Twenty fucking years. <laughs> let it roll. Just let it roll. Let it roll. Do the unedited versions on the internet. God mm -hmm. damn it, should I call up Joel and give him this great idea? Ah, we'll give him this one for free. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. Fuck trying to throw David Lee Roth in there and Adam Carolla yeah. and all these other hacks. Trust me, they're Adam hacks. Adam Carolla's going to do it? They're hacks. Adam Carolla's He's doing the West Coast. He's got two TV shows and a radio show. Trust Artist me. working man in uh, show Unbelievable. business. Unbelievable. Trust me, within six months, Joel Hollander will be calling us again. Mm -hmm. These guys are hacks and they will not get the job done. You'll, you, you'll see. All Good right. luck. But, Joel, this is what you do. Just run Howard Stern from day one. Day one. One show after the other. An unedited version on the Internet. It will fucking kill him. Because it the casual... Him. It, it's not the hardcore fan. The hardcore fan of any show, including Howard's, they'll subscribe to Sirius. That's the way it is. But y y you make the money and the huge subscriptions on the peripheral listeners... The new people you bring in, everyone knows who Howard is. They're either going to want him or not. It's not like anybody's just hearing about him. You know what I mean? So it's going to be very hard to get new listeners that haven't heard him before to come on board. And that's really where you make the, the, the huge strides in subscriptions. Uh, Infinity could battle that by just playing his old tapes. Because the casual listener will just be like, I'll, I'll put on Howard. He's back here where he was. It's old, it's best of, it's stuff I remember. Oh, this is fu this was funny. They'd kill him. It would kill him. Yeah. Good idea. That's a great idea. Roll tape. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just on the morning program. <laughs> I think you and your agent get yeah. beat up uh, unnecessarily because who could have seen the whole satellite thing? Who could have seen? You had to assume you'd probably be working for the same company if you continued to yeah. work. Yeah. You know, it's like crazy. I couldn't have foreseen the FCC being this intrusive in my life. And no this way. Degrading to me. But oh, I, 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 I now I'm stuck with, Ooh. okay, I don't have 20 years of my, my shows and my all my interviews with people. and, and uh, It really is injustice. I mean, yeah, honestly, rather. this company. Guess what, Howard? That means you're going to have to work again. Yeah. For once, you're going to have to work again. It's going to have to be all new stuff. Let's see if you got it in your pally. My interviews. Somebody, do they really need that? those tapes to make a living? Come on. I mean, does Joel need that? Well, I don't not, think so. But they're not for them to use. They're for you not to use. Right. right. It's just a spite. It's they're, but they're not going to use them anywhere. No, they can't. They right. legally can't. Why? They can't release them anywhere. Why? The company wanted to take the tapes of my show and erase them all because they they needed tape. <laughs> <laughs> See that those guys don't That's have funny. Those guys just don't have balls over they there. They needed tape. I would walk in on Howard Show Live with all his tapes with a big huge cartoon magnet <laughs> and just start <laughs> just start erasing shit one after another right in front of his eyes. <laughs> you know those magnets that they pick up cars in yeah. the junkyard? Just turn I would it on. One of those big ass fucking magnets and just turn it on. <laughs> Right in front of his eyes. Then you get Howard crying, which is always good. <laughs> they, they needed physical tape. They didn't want to spend a dollar or two dollars for the tapes, the cassettes. So this material would have been gone anyway. Right. They and never thought to save it. So I maintained Paul. it. I saved it. I made it available for best of. They didn't want to do best of. I said, do it. You can sell it. You can sell it to your sponsors. But right, even the whole thing. You know, nobody did best. Them, right? Nobody did best of till I started doing it. You were going to archive the material. Yeah. <laughs> ah, shut up. <laughs> oh, it is so funny to hear him actually saying, "Nobody did before I." Because he says it so much about everything. everything. Nobody did it. Well, there you go, Howie. Good luck. You're going to actually have to do a radio show again. Because you, you can't pitch about the FCC anymore when you go to satellite, right? You no. Know, That's been your excuse None for many that. years why you haven't done a creative radio show. He loves his bosses over there. Oh, God, is that funny. Gave him a half a billion dollars. There's really nothing to bitch about. All right. We got Francine in studio. You ready for the news, Francine? Yeah. I'm Hi, ready. Francine. Hello, Anthony. Hello, Opie. You like Anthony better than what me. What about Bill? I, I said hi to hi oh, Bill. Hey. 
How are you? I love your show. This pulse was great. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, way to bring it up. <laughs> what do you mean? If Dave Chappelle didn't like decide to go away for a while, Bill would still be doing that show. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be hanging out doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, a soft subject with him. Oh, I'm sorry. Soft? I really liked it, soft. though. I just want to say I <laughs> liked it. Soft. Soft. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just like... Soft. <laughs> It's a great moment in my life, and now it's over, and I was just, you know, starting to not, like, think about it every day. And, uh, yeah. Didn't and you Ben tell up. you? Good job. No, he didn't tell Everyone me. Everyone has been told around here not to mention that. Have you ever Bill heard Bill. us bring it up? No, no I haven't. We, don't, we no haven't reason. even asked Bill the, the question everyone asked Bill. What's Chappelle up to? We don't even ask, because we know it bothers him. And you had to just casually say that to him. I'm sorry. It's fucked up. Yeah, that, oh, okay. well, I didn't know. No one told me. I still liked it though. It was great. But oh, he doesn't bring want it up to hear that. that. Bring there it, it up is again. again. Wow. Team, this is not a bit. He doesn't wow. want to hear that. Okay. Eek. All right. Apologize to him. I'm sorry, Bill. A little late. It's a little fucking late. <laughs> well, this is a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, do your news now. Okay. <sighs> Oh, start? What's wrong? Well, I don't have the ticking sound in the background. No, but you made everyone uncomfortable. Yeah. Uncomfortable. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's not good enough. Come up with something else. Look we, at his face. We, we were having a good show, too. Yeah, it was. Wow. <sighs> it's been a while since I've been in that creative zone like that. You know, it's just fucking... Yeah. We better take a break and regroup because it's a little uncomfortable, actually. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Once you, you you better leave the studio, Francine. Okay. We'll have you in after the break to do the news. Oh, wow, you got that evil smile and everything you're giving her. She's showing a little skin today. Yeah, she is. Got a, a shirt that. Uh, Jesus Christ, she coming up on fucking her. went for all that. I know. Look at her. She's all <laughs> look. She is freaking out. She's a dummy. <laughs> Dummy. Oh. She really is dumb. I started, <laughs> started feeling bad halfway through that. I was waiting for me to be like, ah, fuck you. Thank uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you guys can't be serious. Thank God she's hot because she is dumb. Like a brick. How old is she? Like a brick. She doesn't even know. <laughs> she she graduated college, didn't she? But she doesn't even know how old she is. Yes, uh, Nathaniel? Can she come in here and yell, don't move dirt bag at some point? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will take a break, mm -hmm. and then when we get back, Francine will do the news with us. Yeah. And then we also got uh, the Tyra Brank, uh, Banks. Tyra Banks. Sorry. Ooh, Tyra Banks. Oh, yeah. Tyra Banks stuttering yeah. show that she did recently. Tyra Banks is our new uh, obsession, Bill. You weren't here for the fat suit show, right? No. I think uh, Patrice no. Was. You know, it was Patrice? Yeah. Tyra, oh. Tyra Reed is over with, unfortunately, because they canceled the show. Now it's all about Tyra. <laughs> She's doing some silly shows that we can't oh, yeah. enough of. Uh, Anthony. Waiting for Eric Logan to stop by to say hi. The Elo, will he be joining us on our shopping spree? The Arch Enemy thing, by the way? Yeah, people are really ragging. The Arch Enemy thing, um, the person has not signed officially. The person uh, has not signed officially. All right, look for them signing with Sirius Satellite Radio. So, uh, <laughs> so we had to apply the brakes on that bit for now. Oh, my goodness. But I will give, uh, I, I will give the fine listener something else today. What? Do not miss. Tickets to my show at Montclair, New Jersey, Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bill Burr, everyone. Very good. Bill you Burr! learn. You learn quickly. <laughs> my I'm just goodness. really bad. I really should be whoring myself out. I, 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 I keep forgetting. Yeah. There's oh. janitors to yell at. Pump it. Sweet girls to make feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Hey. She thinks their fucking career's over. Hey, um, could we buy Howard's tapes and throw them on XM? Forty million. Why not? That'd Maybe be like Michael Jackson. Michael I'll, Jackson bought the uh, Beatles catalog. Can we just buy a few? Yeah. Well, let's. Can we buy like the '80s? Hopefully, the '80s collection. Yeah, the '80s collection would be good. Mm. I, I would buy like from '85 to '95, no problem. Joel will probably give us a good deal, much yeah. less than the. Oh, he could have. Him. He could have '95 through uh, '05, no problem. We want '85, yeah. '86 to '95. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna look into that. Mm -hmm. um, Anthony, I will. Uh, I will say this. With all seriousness, by the way, it's not a bit, it's not a joke, I'm not going for a laugh. Lord knows I try, but I'm not going for a laugh here. Okay. 
Do not miss the Ron and Fez show today. Mm-hmm. Do not miss the Ron and Fez show today. All right. It will be a show you'll uh, never forget. Really? Especially if you're a fan of the Ron and Fez show. Okay, I have no clue what you're talking about. You have a clue, but we'll let uh, we'll let uh, them speak today. All right. Let them do it all. Oh, okay. All right. All right. But do not miss the Ron and Fez show today at 11 on 202. Okay. Why? Can't say. Why not? It's not our place to say. How come? It's up to them. Why? <laughs> but uh, they are doing a live show today. They are? Yes. Okay, see, I wasn't sure. Yes. All right. And that's all I'll say. And this is not one of those things that you can, you'll have to speculate for the next two weeks. You have an hour to speculate. But do not miss the Ron and Fez show today, um, right after our show here on 202, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Derek, get us out of here. All right, let's get Francine back in here to, to do the news for us. It's the Opie and Anthony program on XM Satellite Radio. Once again, thanks to XM Satellite Radio for advertising the show today all over the place. Oh, yeah. Full page ads in the New York Daily News, the New York Post, the Philadelphia Inquirer on page 5 or E5, and the Boston Herald as well. All about us, a whole page about us. Francine, you feeling uh, a little better? Sorry about that. I'm really sorry, Bill. Yeah, whatever. I'm not the, I'm not like a forgiving kind of person, so just, you know, just do Do you understand thing. that his big break was the Dave Chappelle show, and then Dave went and schizo and ran off to South, uh, South Africa? Yeah, would you go up to McLean Stevenson and say, I loved you on MASH? Hmm. Yeah, would you? She doesn't know if she would or not. That yeah. was his pay, uh, his paycheck. And that's page one when you get in the show business. You don't do shit like that. Oh, it, it was his uh, paycheck, and then uh, Dave went uh, schizo, yeah, we went and now he's out of a job, and, and now he things. has to do the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. <laughs> we'll fight for a position that doesn't really exist <laughs> with four other hacks. <laughs> Those eyes are getting big, Francine. Yeah. Look like they're welling up a little bit. You all right? I see you got hair extensions. I always have hair extensions. <laughs> extensions. <laughs> and you're showing skin today, we noticed. Well, because I bought this shirt. It's new. Yeah. So I didn't know, but it rides up. It's actually longer. Look. No, it looks good. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can it's let it long. ride up. Yeah. No one's going to complain. Okay. All right. So you want to try to do the news, even though it's going to be a little weird? Yeah, I could try to do the news. All right. We got the ticker. Ladies and gentlemen, with the news, it's Francine. Thank you. Perry Saramonte of The Post writes that India announced Saturday that it would speed up construction of a 2,500-mile fence to keep out its Muslim neighbors in Bangladesh. Amir fears of growing terrorism. Hmm. Uh, Earth to the Indians, airplanes were invented in the 1940s. So your stupid <laughs> fence is not right, going to work. Wait a minute. Good what? things happening here. Uh, All right. Airplanes were invented in the in 1940s? The 40s? I believe so. Yeah. And uh, what do you know about that? Uh... Couldn't have just picked a year. Yeah, you yeah. had that. Have well, some I went type on of the internet. And the internet, and yeah. and what did they say about airplanes in the forties? Oh, they were being used. <laughs> they were being used. <laughs> yeah. All right. Invented. Uh, yeah. Well, who invented the airplanes? Oh, hmm. uh, I don't remember. You don't know the inventor of the airplane, of the the powered flight. Leonardo DiCaprio played a guy that did it. All right, very well, good. Well, he, he was um, Howard Spruce. Hughes, but, you know, that was... He, he did it? No, that was later. That's just my great uncle. Oh, really? Howard Hughes. Oh, great Hughes. I think Hughes. he got this gig. You didn't know that, really? No. Nepotism. You didn't know I'm related to Howard Hughes? No. Mm-hmm. All right. Greg Hughes. Hello. Who do you think invented the airplane? One of the guy's first names is the same name as that old guy who makes the popcorn. Who do you think? Who invented the peanut? I don't know. Who invented the airplane? Could you give me a clue? 
Just just pick a name out of a hat. What, what do the, what's Kitty the, Hawk, North Carolina. Yeah. What did the first airplane look like? Uh, it had wings and a thing that spins in the front. Right. Very good. Right. <laughs> I believe it was invented by BMW. Right. Right. I, I think it spun in the back, didn't it? There was two of them. Yeah. Was it just one? Actually, it was. Right. And they were small. Right. They were how much many wider. How many passengers could it hold? Two. And who were those two? I don't know. It was the BMW right. brothers, their name. Of. Right. Right. They I, were German? Right. Right. Absolutely right. You're right. so right. Right, right, right. Right again, Francine. Two right. You know, I went to go see my brothers yeah. uh, this weekend. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. my brothers were, uh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't talked to them in a while. Um, Will Burr be playing uh, somewhere this weekend? Yeah. We're yeah. right. Right. Mm -hmm. My brothers are coming to my show in Montclair, New Jersey. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah, do you think it was wrong to do what we did earlier? Nah, that was right. Yeah. It was very right. We've we got to stick together Bill. if the cops come here because uh, we're brothers. Right. All right. right. Very good, brothers. Francine. Right. BMW brothers. Yeah. invented the airplane. Yep. Uh, anyone ever call you Will? Oh, yeah. Is it Bill? Well, it just seems weird with my last name. Wilbur? Yeah. Wilbur. Right. I yeah. like Wilbur. Right. Wilbur. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Well, anyway. Can't think anything. You can't? Uh, it's not coming to you? Yeah. No. That's a tough one. All, All right. right. You don't know the brothers' names. But uh, mm -hmm. but she's got the last name, the BMW guy. Or, will I be at um, <laughs> <laughs> Bananas in Cincinnati? Or know, Bill, will, <laughs> will Burr be at right? <laughs> All right, very good, Francine. So there's planes and and they were invented in the 40s by BMW. Speaking like a Nazi. Will I be Will Burr? Will Will Burr? Will the Burr? All right, continue with your story. So something about uh, Muslims, airplanes, and Muslims. The Muslims. Muslims. Yep, okay. All right, sorry. Go ahead. This will be the last time Abu Musab al-Zarakli terrorist crews uses some twat to do their dirty jobs. Apparently, Sajida Mubarak Atrus al-Rishali, the would-be suicide bomber, confessed yesterday that she was supposed to blow up with her husband at the Radisson Hotel in Jordan. Man, that bomb did a lot of damage to her face, though. I can't believe she survived the... Uh... Oh, the bomb never went off. Oh, oh. Her bomb didn't explode. Oh, it didn't explode. That's just, was that's, it... Oh, that's just how she looks on yes. the front page of all the papers Was it a today. grease bomb? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, she's been uh, all over the news, man. They are just playing her little confession. Uh, all over the place. It's a man, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just... Uh, Jordan, that's a, that's a hell of a place. There she is with the bomb. And not cuffed. No representation. She's just on TV like the next day saying, hey, this is how I did it. And, you know, this, uh, this is the bomb. It didn't work. And I strapped it to me. Like, it's so beyond the realm of anything that could possibly happen in the United States. You know, they'd, she'd be lawyered up, put away somewhere. You wouldn't see her on TV for years. And the lawyers would be talking. Or they just get there and, you know, all right, so what'd you do? I just love how she kind of, like, left the other guy hanging. Yeah. She doing this ran. together, right? Her husband. Right. It blows up. And then she just, she said she tried it and then ran. Guys, I, blow up. I got a shame on you. Ooh. Shame, 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 shame. I'm looking at the front pages of uh, the front pages of three New York newspapers. The Daily News got it right. Dressed to kill, she was meant to blow herself up with her husband in a Jordan hotel. Her yep. bomb belt didn't uh, detonate. Her confession is chilling. That's the front page of the Daily News. Front page of the New York Post. Dressed to kill, suicide bomb, wife seized in terrorist sweep. Yep. They also got it right. Front page of uh, Newsday. Uh, change is good. First day of free parking, a hit with drivers. 
<laughs> is that today's paper? Swear to God. Newsday is so out of and, touch, man. And then they got a little picture of her yeah. in the corner, but, uh, the, you know, the most room was taken up by the guy that's very happy that he didn't have to, have to use the meters on Sunday in New yeah. York City. Dress to kill. That's shame, 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 shame on you. Shame on you, Newsday. Shame on you. Shame. They also have advice on pacifiers and potties. On the front page? Oh, mm-hmm. well. All right. <laughs> let's uh, let's go back to the news with Francine. According to New York Magazine, parents are pathetically stupid about their kids' sex life. From how young they begin having sex to starting a variety of sexual behaviors. Uh, for example... Mm-hmm. 15% of the kids surveyed said they've taken pictures during sexual activity. Ooh, how about that? Yep. You have any uh, pictures of yourself, Francine? No. No? My next line actually has something to do with that. Oh, oh all right. Let's go, Francine. I want to blow up your spot. <laughs> I'm 25, and I have yet to be caught on video or pictures during sexual activity. Mm-hmm. Big no-no. Right. Why is it a big no-no? Because I don't want evidence. Evidence? Yeah. Of the filthy things that you do? Yeah. The dirty things, right. God bless you. Do you do dirty things? Yeah. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Uh, the <laughs> butt. I love how Derek. I love how Derek works the ticker. Like what? <laughs> it comes, oh yeah, yeah, the ticker. He just comes way down. Derek knows when it's uh, professional news, and then uh, just us trying to go to the gutter. Banter, gutter banter, gutter banter. Like what? You ever gave up the back? Yes, I have. And really? I think we talked about God, this. Yeah, this yeah. is ringing a bell now. And did what you, happened? How'd that work it? out for you? I forgot. I like this. Okay. You did? Really? But I don't like to do it all the time because it hurts a lot. Hurts, hurts a, lot. a lot? Yeah. But sometimes pain is good. Yeah, it's true. Hmm. You like Stop the pain? That. Yeah, I like the pain. Yeah. <laughs> Take nice. the pain. Take the pain. <laughs> Sing your show, Elias. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Death? What do you boys know about death? Did the guy ask you or did he just go, oops? Uh, yeah, actually, that. Yeah, the last time it happened... We were in my room, and uh, we ran out of condoms, because I only had one. Yeah. Yeah, and he didn't bring any, so Don't. too bad for him. So you go the safe route by having unprotected anal. No, Bag no. Bag this piece no. of shit. He he was uh, rubbing his, uh, whatever. I, I was turned around on my back. Genie's lamp? I don't know what he was doing, but I guess that's how he gets off sometimes. He uh, he was rubbing his uh, penis on your on your ass. Side. Yeah, and then right. all of a sudden it went poop and it went in. You shouldn't have used the <laughs> word poop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when you're talking about the uh, the anal sex, you shouldn't use the word. Wow. Poop. <laughs> so he's rubbing, and then all, all of a sudden, sudden it went. <laughs> yeah. It, it just went. It was disgusting. What I told him trooper. to get out. Get out. Get out of there or the house, like. Well, of my my butt. Yeah. Did you say it like the Amityville horror? It's like get out, get out, <laughs> get out, get out. <laughs> that bad? Yeah. I told him to get out. Did he yeah. go like, oh, I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to. I thought it yeah, was the other place. Yeah, I thought he was gonna do it, but. You kind of felt like he was doing it. Was he? <laughs> so you kind of knocking at the door a few times. Realized, <laughs> then you realize you didn't. What? You kind of knew he was going to do it, so you yeah. kind of let him, and then you figured, ah, you know what, I'm not What was move. going on where you kind of... He was feeling her out, yeah, is what he was doing. Oh, that's yeah. what I want to ask. What was going on where you you thought, uh-oh, here he goes, he's going to go for it? Well, I was just, uh, I was thinking about nothing, and I was just laying on my back. The head of his penis was loitering around yeah, the area. Yeah, Loitering. <laughs> but you're on your back. You said you were already on your... Mistake he made, he didn't get her in the mindset. Yeah. He, that's true. Yeah. You were you on needed, your back, uh, or yeah. on your... Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, anal, it was on uh, my back. Mindset for the uh, anal. Yeah. yeah. You're on your back. How is it? <laughs> Didn't you yeah. flip you over there? No, I was already on my back. Flip her over, baby. But you were on your back and he was doing anal that way? No. Yeah. <laughs> he was just rubbing his dick there on. Yeah. No, no but you said you were on your back. Yeah, uh, like you're, you're on your back. back. Oh, my tummy. Oh, you're on your oh, tummy, of tummy, of course. Of course. And, and he was rubbing between your cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right, and then he got a little lower. What yeah. are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Ow. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Come on, stop. I'm, uh, rubbing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just uh, rub your ass for no. a while. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> So he's uh, rubbing. Really, really come to that. Yep. It's uh, I I guess I guess uh, it was uh, lubed up pretty good. Well, yeah, I guess so. Because if he just slid right in. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. did he use? Did he lube it up nice, or did he just? Well. Did he use some of that prison lube? We just had sex, so he was already pretty much whatever. So it was like all uh, yeah. yeah, ready to ready to rock. All loosey goosey. Yeah. That's good. To give you the reach around. What's that? <laughs> Where he plays well, up. if he's taking care of you, a little DJ he's move. gotta like get his hand around the front and go tap tap, you. tap 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 tap. So he give you the reach around. Well, maybe that was his mistake. Maybe that was. Uh-huh. Maybe if he'd have given other, <laughs> yeah. he just put on that face. He just went. Oh. That's the blackest I've ever that, seen you. That was, that was the Oprah applause break. <laughs> oh, that's right, baby. You got maybe if he went home oh, take care of business. I think y'all need to get a job. <laughs> That was, that was the Oprah of ass sex right there. Yeah. <laughs> you tell him, child. Yeah, you know. He yeah. should have, like, uh, given you the reach around it a little. It was his See? mistake. That yeah. was. Definitely. Could have had you feeling a little better about the whole situation yeah. before he just poop and, uh, <laughs> as you put it. All right. So let's move on with the news again. Oh, the news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good, Derek. Uh, union leader Norman Seabrook is in deep shit. <laughs> Collect. Scott, a female corrections officer, has filed a $1 million sexual harassment lawsuit against him. She claims the president once called her into a conference and says, I hope you don't get mad at me, but I really want to fuck you. Seems like Seabrook wanted to share a little semen with Miss Scott. This is his fourth uh, harassment suit, so he obviously can't keep his pecker in his pants. It's time to get rid of this creep. Mm, little editorializing. I like that. We like that. Thank I like you. That. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You ever notice? <laughs> what do you What do you think of sexual harassment in general? If he's cute, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> well, you could be accused, right, of uh, some type of sexual harassment with your boss, right? Me. Yeah, you flaunt your. You walk around in those skimpy little skirts, and he gives you money. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like sexual harassment. Yeah. But I don't ask for the money. He just gives it to me. Oh, you're asking for it, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> They're all asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> you still, you still working there? Where do, do you work? Wait, you got an update? I got a new job, you guys. A Wait, new Hooters. job. Hold, hold on. Anthony, explain to Bill Burr, uh, her old boss. Uh, her old boss is some old guy, and she used to walk around in little short skirts in front of him, and he oh, would uh, give her money. And he and would like, give her money. Just and she freak. knew this, so she this would guy make was sure they would, would, would you wear a thong or a uh, or the fullback? Or nothing. Or, yeah, nothing. Better. Better. No, I, well, here's the thing. I'm small, so most of my clothes don't fit me. So when I sit down, you can see my underwear most of the time. Ah, there right. you go. Would you bend over a lot? No, not really. Would you show off camel toe? What's that? The moose knuckle? Was it? Did you wear a thong? <laughs> the Great Divide. The Great Divide. I wore a thong sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But you could see my underwear all the time. Yeah. Even Even at my <laughs> second job, they used to make fun of me because you could always see my underwear. Make fun of you? But you wouldn't yeah. show off the midget's uh, catcher mitt? <laughs> no? Anything? I don't know what that is. All right. Mm. Can't explain everything to you. We don't have no. enough time, Francine. Yep. So you got a new job. Yep. Yeah, what are you doing? Well, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be administrative work. Administrative work. Yep. And where, where, well, like for what, some old guy. Where, for an old guy? No, this time it's going to be a new set of younger people. Younger people. Yeah. And it's real estate, the real estate business? Yep. And, uh. It's in Brooklyn. And you'll be doing, like, the paperwork, filing, things like that? Yep. That's it. And there's young guys there now. Yep. And you're wearing the same kind of clothes. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Anyone uh, you got an eye on in there? Well, they all seem to be married. So Even better. Far. Then you don't have to worry about any sort of commitment. That is true. <laughs> yeah, you just bang them and you leave. No, but I got to work there all the time, so I probably won't want to bang everybody. <laughs> Not you, you everybody. Just, you just 
You just blow them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like doing that. Why? You don't? No. You got to be in the mood, right? Yep. Yeah, One in see, the shitter, but you won't... Uh... Well, I hardly ever do that either. Well, why don't you like doing that? Do you like to have it done to you? Yes. Oh, see, that's not mm. fair. Oh, she just gave you those <laughs> eyes. Just mm. like, yeah. Damn right I do. I guess mine. <laughs> so why don't you like going down on a guy? Well, I think it's... Uh, you can help the guys out there. What's the problem? I don't like being on my knees. Well, so what if he stands up with his hands behind his head like he's relaxing in a lounge chair? <laughs> What's the problem with being on your knees? Well, okay, I'll admit I have done it recently. So it's oh. not like I never do it. Right. But you have to earn it. Ah. You got to earn, earn it. it. And what does a guy have to do to yeah. earn it? What gives you the points? Uh, length of time. Mm-hmm. And oh, basically, if he takes care of you, you'll take care of him. That's fair. Length of time. So you got to kind of like the guy. You got to Be in some kind around. of relationship. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, I thought you meant like sexually. No. Like lasting long no, enough. No, no. It's just pretty much a relationship <laughs> length of time. Until you just got go. what she needed to be. You just got to take her to Chicken Little. <laughs> no, she looks more like a Popeye's girl. Popeye's. I'm I, talking I, about a movie. I'm guessing you wouldn't do it after he had slipped and poop. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm guessing that guy didn't get any after that. So yeah, how, how many how many weeks into the relationship before you're on your knees? Hmm. Uh, it's not really weeks. It's um. How many dinners? <laughs> Just like the Wheel of Fortune. I'll take the brass bed frame for a yeah. hundred. <laughs> How many? About. Um, I'll say if I've been with a guy for about three months. Three months? Three months. Then I'll start thinking about it. Thinking about it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. This you is ever like have the guy. with the electric car. <laughs> We're going to have him in 2019. <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> and he's down on his knees in the muck for three months with you? Come, you're telling me. Uh, you you get with a guy, right? You guys, you hook up, you're doing your thing. He goes down on you. He's great at it. You're not going to reciprocate? Nope. You ever have a guy go down no. on you? No wonder yeah. he puts it in your ass. Ever have a guy go down on you? you a lesson. And you then try to, oh try to do God. the carousel? I wouldn't even ask. Yeah. <laughs> Someone yeah, tried to that, do that that's one. That's it. Ever have a guy go down on you and then try to do the carousel? Try to like do go down and then nice. flip yourself around? Yeah. It's like, hey, look, I'm taking care of you. Let me just run up here. I'll do the, sh I'll do the, uh, the shimp run yeah. on the floor thing. Where <laughs> he spins around and get, uh, get the lower end up there. You have a guy try that. Yep. And what'd you do? Uh. You just keep running. She's running the other way, so they're chasing balls. each other. They're making balls bouncing off her eyelids. They end up making a crop circle in her bed. <laughs> <laughs> Spun in the sheets, all caught up. Well, I'll tell you what happened. All right. All right, Francine, oh, this is always good. I was with this guy. Yeah. And we're in a bed. No. Yeah. And uh, he tried to do that whole crop circle thing with me. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I licked the tip of my index finger mm -hmm. and I rubbed on it, the tippy top. And he thought I was giving him oral sex. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. He probably yeah. thought it was her tongue. <laughs> yeah. Like, he wow, thought it was move. my tongue. So uh, he's been begging me forever and ever and ever to do it because he's always down there and I didn't care. So <laughs> that's that's the mistake. He's begging. <laughs> he was begging for it and he never Why don't got you just it. Get one of those plastic fake mouths. And just lube it up and keep it under the pillow. When he pulls it again, you just throw, just slap it on there. Oh, you're so good. Oh, take, take it, it all. I mean, oh, cool. Take it all, baby. Yeah, he never got it. Tee -hee. He got. A he wet. really thought that you were going down on him. He got a cold, wet finger. Finger, finger. And he yeah. thought uh, he thought he was getting head. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's so wonderful. He, he just has to take it away from her. That's yeah. a goddamn stalemate. Yeah. Well, he sucked at it anyway. He thought oh, he was he great. Oh, well, then that's justified. Mm -hmm. he He's was, not doing the job. Point. He was so-so. Eh. Did you tell him what he was doing wrong? Yeah. Mm. Maybe I just didn't like him. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm feeling. All right. Yeah. Want to move on with the news? Oh, we were doing the news. That's right. I, I guess. I'm doing celebrity news. Just on celebrity TV. news. Hold on. we got to get the celebrity news uh, thing. Eric, you got it? Oh, there it is. Hey, nice celebrity news. All right, Francine. Kathleen Turner says that Hollywood's obsession with youth is driving her away to Europe. Leave. The 51-year-old twat of movies such as Body Heat and The War of the Roses 
lashed out at the attitude of U.S. directors and blah, blah, blah. Okay. She said, I'm going to get a base in Italy because I can get more work there and they respect women of my age. I say, goodbye. You're not going to be missed. Mmm, that's harsh. Yeah. What movie did uh, Kathleen Turner do? War of the Roses. That one I remember. Yeah, okay. All right. What other one? Romancing Miss Dawn? Romancing that one. Hold on a second. Let's say hi to Steve in New York City. Steve, what's up? What's up, man? Hey, where are you? Um, I'm trying to walk around. Do you see the blue in the back right now? Yeah. With the... With the uh, hold on. All right, well... Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. What are you? Hold on. What are you trying to do? Maybe we can help you out here. I'm behind the the, the red trees right yeah. now. Is the red trees in the back? Yeah. Run out onto the runway. Oh wait, they went to commercial. They uh, went yeah, to don't commercial. do anything. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Did they do a commercial? Yeah, they, yeah, went, they to went to commercial. commercial. Hold on a minute. We'll help you out. All right. All right. Cool. You didn't blow it already, did you? Oh no no no. They're. Uh, what? I don't know if I can get like across this gate though. Yeah, why don't you just walk onto the set? Dude, just jump. Hold on, hold on, though, all right? I'll, we'll let you know. Yeah, we'll we'll, right. we'll talk you through it. Cool. All right, Francine, what else you got? Uh, finally... Steve, just stay there. We're in commercials. Yeah, over there. We'll, we'll let you know. We'll let you right, know. Cool. Go yeah, ahead, Francine. Finally, Michael Jackson's kids will fit in. They'll be veiled just like the natives. The king of pop will soon uh, rule his own island of paradise. He has shelled out $1.5 million for a quarter acre site on oil rich Bari on Umwaj Island that will serve as his permanent home for kid touching fantasies. Hmm. That's it? That's it for Celebrity. Not much editorializing on that yeah, one. Yeah, you're usually much better at editorializing. Mm. Yeah. You just didn't have much on that story? Well, it's Mike, and he's been touching kids, and, you know. Yeah. It's kind of dead. But I wanted to report on it anyway. It's just too hack, right? Do you know the capital of that fine place that he just bought a uh, piece of land in? Oh, uh, I didn't. I thought it was part of, a, like, Saudi Arabia or something. Um, <laughs> right. Saudi Arabia, is the, Saudi Arabia is the country, though. But isn't it part of it? Yeah. but it what? Is? Good. But that's like a state, so what's the capital? Think. Oh. Uh, Anything? No. The city of Saudi Arabia. The city of Saudi Arabia. Strange. Like New York, New York. I'd like to make. Like, I don't know what the capital. Is. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Mecca. Arabia. Mecca. Um. Yeah, of Bahrain. Of Bahrain. But I thought it was part of Saudi Arabia. All right. So what's the capital of Saudi Arabia? <laughs> Bahrain is the state. What's the capital of Bahrain? Which is in the country of Saudi Arabia. Thank. We learned it in school. Thank. <laughs> we did. Uh. We never came anywhere near discussing the Middle East. No. Really? No. Uh, no. It's all Marcus de Lafayette and all that shit. She's sweating. Come on, Francine. You're usually pretty good at this stuff. Um. If somebody took you all the way to that island over there for a vacation, would you blow them? <laughs> well, if it was a what, what, really nice what? place, I would. All right. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so you would. So that's yeah. basically it. Do so you have an answer? If somebody spends enough money. Yep. No answer? No, I actually don't know. I'm not really good. If no. I took you to the ground round, I was like, anything you want on the menu. What is that? Ground round? You never heard of that? No. It's a wow. steak place. So it's a fine steak place. Oh, I hear the uh, audio coming through his phone. Yeah. Uh, Steve? Yeah. Uh, well, not yet. Yeah, I'm still here. They're not. Uh, they're not outside at all right now. Oh, they're not. Oh, they went back inside. They went back in. Yeah, oh, they're doing uh, a stupid cooking segment. Uh, yeah. they're gonna have to go back out again. I'm thinking. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'll. Uh, if they, when they come back out, I'll call y'all right back. All right. Pl please do. Uh, Thanks, Steve. Uh, yeah. Later. Uh, we were kind of stalling there. We thought we had something, but we don't. Damn. Damn. Francine, that's it, huh? Well, I got something on Terrell Owens, but. Yeah. Yeah. To cool. <sighs> yep. Football oh. news with Francine. Sports. Carl Owens uh, is selling his New Jersey home for $4.4 million. Owens was suspended uh, last week for four games and will be deactivated for the rest of the season. Carl Owens is mostly pissed off because he thinks he doesn't make enough money. He has 
unsuccessfully demanded a seven-year, $49 million deal to be renegotiated. Too bad. That's it? Yeah. A little lackluster today, Francine. I know. The last one went, went so Were you all nervous because you made fun of uh, Bill? Well, you didn't make fun of him, but did that uh, get and I'm you? really sorry. Really. I'm, I didn't mean to. Bill, I mean, accept how many your apology? fucking times do I gotta say don't bring it up? It's like I, I got it. You did. You brought it up Boy. again. You don't even bring it up oh. with your apology, actually. Jeez. Okay. That's the best you could do in that situation. Right. All right. Um, you got any football scores? Anything like that? Uh, I believe the Giants won a game. Giants won. Very good. And the Knicks probably lost. Uh, I don't no. know if they did because I don't. Well, think actually, the Knicks won their first game of the year. Oh. <laughs> And the Giants uh, actually lost to uh, Minnesota, a team they should have beat yesterday, Francine. Do you know anything about football? Of uh, They play with the ball. Yeah. Now, what do you really know about football? I played uh, game day before. You played game day. All right. So d- what do you know about football? There are so many women that don't even have a clue what football is about. Mm-hmm. No, it you amazes gotta, me. I, I watched every given Sunday. And after I watched that movie, I understood how football works. What about Any right. Given? Did you watch that one, too? Oh, I don't know about that one. All right, so you know how football works. She watched Tell every, us how football every works. Given. Every Given. She saw that Not movie, any. and now she knows how football works. So yeah. how does it work? Okay, well, there are two teams. Oh, good. And there are four uh, times that you get the ball, and you have to make it past a certain line. All right, and what's that line called? Of the ma- um, marginal line. The marginal line, and uh, they have it. A- Bill, don't help her. Why are you helping right, her? You know. I think they're called innings. You have four innings. Very four good. Innings. Four innings. Try yeah. to stop the Nazis from coming in. That's <laughs> it. Four innings, and you're going for the marginal line. Right. Yeah. And if you don't get it in four tries to or get four innings. Four innings. Use the terminology. Uh, you don't get to go on to. You have to move past a certain line to stay getting the ball, and and the line is the the marginal line. Marginal the marginal line. line, very good. And you got four innings to get it past that marginal line. Now, if you get past the marginal line in four innings, what happens now? You get to keep the ball. Very good. Right now, there there are intersections where you can catch the ball. Intersections where mm-hmm. the other team can get the ball, and they get to keep the How ball. How does an intersection work? You have to catch the ball when the other team has the ball. Right. Right. Oh, now, what is the uh, Regis and Joy are singing Christmas songs? <clears throat> now, what about the uh, yeah. when the kicker comes out and they say he has camel toe? What does that mean? Oh, yes. That's uh, a very, very bad thing for a kicker to have. Well, what I kind of know. injury is that when the kicker has camel toe? Uh, bad ankle? Camel toe. Camel toe. Bad toes? So it has something to do with his foot area, possibly his toes. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Camel toe. Well, then there's the touchdown. Ah, moving on. The touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what the camel toe is? No. It prevented the Bills from winning the uh, Super Bowl when they were in Scott the Super Norwood Bowl with had the Giants. Camel toe. Scott Norwood had camel toe. Really? Yeah, what was that? Oh, not good enough toes for kicking? Mm. Not good enough toes for kicking. Yeah, it could be. All sure. right, very good. It was frostbite. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of It was very unfortunate, yeah. considering it was about 75 degrees that day. Yeah. All right, so continue. So the four innings. Yep. You get past the marginal line. Yep. And the, so now you continue, mm-hmm. and you haven't thrown any intersections, right? Right. And an intersection is when the other team catches the ball. Yep. In one of those innings. That's yep. an intersection. Yes. And when they get the yeah. ball. And then you have to try to get the ball to the other side where the other teams... And if the kicker has camel toe, what's wrong with his toes? He has... Bad toes. No. Frostbite. 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 Jesus. Frostbite. Holy, Holy shit. Hope. All right, what's the goal uh, line? What's that called? Where you have to get the football pass? The glass scene. The right? score area. The score area. Score yep. area. And I know one thing about it. All right. You have to have your foot in, at least one foot in, to get the touchdown. Okay. Yeah, like you don't have to have both feet in. Right, very good. Huh. And once you get your touchdown... What if, you're, what if your nutsack isn't in the uh, <laughs> scoring area? <laughs> as long as your foot's in, I believe you still get the Very score. good. Okay. So uh, then that's six points. Yep. 
So then you get a chance to either run the ball in to get two points. Mm -hmm. She knows a little bit. Wow. Or you can kick it. Granted, you don't have the camel toe through the H or Y or whatever thingy, the yellow thingy. Uh, and that gives well, what you... is it called, the yellow thingy? Is it called an H or is it called a Y? Pick or is right it called letter. something else? Pick the right letter. What letter does it look like? I think it looks like a Y. Y. Yeah. Mm, all right. Is there a name for this? Yeah. Yeah. The goalie? The goalie. The goalie. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. The goalie. Very good. The goalie. Okay. And it's usually yellow. Usually yellow. <laughs> Sometimes it's not, though, right? I think it's usually yellow. All right, I was trying to trick you. You're very good. Wow, Opie. Just trying to throw you off your off your game a little bit. Yeah, and that gives you one point. Very good. And there's another thing where you can get two points. Mm-hmm. Where, oh, I forgot. And then there's another thing where you could lose one point, too. Mm-hmm. Today's show. Or if you catch the ball yeah. in the other team's uh, thingy-mabob. I forget. Other team's thingy-mabob? The goal area. Right. If the you, scores, the score you, place. Yeah, you can't get your ball in that area because that means that the other team gets two points, I think. Put it Holy shit. in her ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I think she's pretty uh, pretty good with her football knowledge. Thank yeah. You. Very good. Anything else? How about the football? Um, the football is in the shape of what? A ball. A oval ball. A oval An ball. oval ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very it's good. sort of football shaped. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Put and it. What? <laughs> Bill's very annoyed. What's wrong, no. Bill? <laughs> I know it's like just like water torture. <laughs> <laughs> you want to uh, plug that college you graduated from one more time? Yes. In Montclair, New Jersey, Thanksgiving weekend. It was uh, NYU. Rascals University. NYU, guys. NYU. NYU. Fucking you. And I just took, uh, I just finished, I'm going to finish my LSAT course this week. Your LSAT course. And I'm going to go take my LSATs in February. (laughs) All right. I think we got enough out of Francine today. Yeah. I like uh, how you know football. Yeah, bravo. Very, very good. They're great. Thank you. Yeah. Very, very good. Definitely. Thanks, guys. All right, Francine. Thank you. Thank you. Why don't you apologize to Bill? I'm sorry, Bill. I told you to not <laughs> fucking bring it up. They're testing you. Oh. Just don't ever bring it up again. <laughs> okay. Don't even make eye contact with me for like right. the next, the rest of this week, okay? Just uh. fucking look at the floor. Now, some hey, people... You don't say goodnight to nobody. <laughs> now, some people would say, Francine, you're a little dumb. So, just, just to clear it up, what is Bill talking about there <clears throat> when he says don't bring it up? A movie? A movie. What aren't you supposed to bring up as far as Bill Burr goes yeah. from now on? So we yeah. know for next time. Because some people are saying you're dumb. I I'm, I want them to know you're not dumb. That you know and won't be bringing this up anymore. Right. I believe it's the Chappelle show. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> How many fucking times? <laughs> Francine. <laughs> I was don't, just getting past this just, fucking shit. Don't bring it up. Unfucking believable. Don't bring it up with him. Okay. Now you know, finally, yeah. you do know yeah. that this is off limits. Okay. Verboten. Never again <laughs> to be brought bullshit. up. Ever. Okay. All right. Mm. Oh, but you told me this was a professional show and that I was going to be working with people who are professionals and have been in show business. Well, not she this amateur amateur hour. Doesn't understand that some people are hurt by certain things. It, I, yeah. All right. I Francine, think, we want you back in the studio. But I, Bill's going to be filling in for Norton a lot until Norton comes back full time on the program. Yeah, you owe me. You owe me some sort of an apology. Yeah, I think. Like, show me your thong or something. You gotta. Would you show him uh, your thong? Well, I don't have on a thong today. Would you show you him maybe, bloomers? Uh, maybe a little of your butt crack? My butt crack? Just a, Just little. a little. No. Just like plumber's butt. <laughs> no way. Can't. Plumbers get away with it all the time. I think you can, too. That's unfair. I'll, I'll How about if you just bend unfair down? Unfair. How about you, you bend down a little stu- bit? Yeah. <laughs> just tie your, your, your booty. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of underwear do you have on? 
Well, I think they're Vicky. Garanimals? No, they're no. not. They're not Garanimals. I have Vic- I have Vickies? one of my panties. They are Vicky's panties. All right. Why don't we get this out of the way? Repeat after me, Francine. Yep. I, Francine. I, Francine. Will never. Will never. While Bill Burr is in studio. While Bill Burr is in studio. Bring up the Dave Chappelle show. Bring up the show. The what show? Mm. Mm-hmm. The what show? The what show? The Chappelle show. Oh, my <laughs> God. Get her out of here. Yeah, I, I hope your boyfriend puts it in your ass <laughs> with no lube. I um repeatedly does not ask for permission. I think you should go. <laughs> okay. I think you should leave. But Francine. All right, just, guys. I'll see you next time. Yes, thank I you. hope, Francine. Don't know specifics, but just just don't. apologize to him. Just make good. Sorry. sorry, he doesn't. He doesn't even know what you're sorry about, though. I'm not saying it anymore. Are you sure? Sure, we can't get you to say it one more time. Just for old times. Just say it real fast and close the door. <laughs> She's shaking her head. Just say it really fast and close the door. Real fast. Just shout it out. Go ahead. Come on, Francine. Tell show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there's no way she's 25. <laughs> she's. I know. She's, she's like a like an eight year old. She's 25, going on 14. She goes to NYU and she's in what? She law she, school. I I don't know what she does. We really don't know much she about. She like her. works at a real estate place, and they give her money to walk around in skirts. That's her job. All right. Uh, let's see what uh, Steve's up to here. Steve. Yeah. Anything? Uh, are they back on yet? Uh, no, no. Perhaps right after this. Um. All right. There's a there's a couple of, like cracks in the screen that are like four or five inches wide. Maybe I can squeeze it through there. Maybe you know? could squeeze through. All right. Yeah. Well, right, we'll wait, we'll uh, wait until they they come back from commercials. Yeah, tell me, and I'll start jumping around like a crazy man. All right, we can do that. Should we wait or should we go to break, Ant? I think they're uh, gonna I'll go to break. I think they're coming back any second, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're waiting. Yeah. When we get back, by the way, we're gonna do the Tyra Banks thing, the stuttering show. We also have some fine comments from Pat Robertson we got to get to. What is he saying? Pat Robertson says PA Town shouldn't turn to God in case of a natural disaster. Uh huh. Uh, also, we have Grandma Shoots Prowler. That's great. Oh, there you go. Wow. And we have. Uh, Good for her. We should talk about the talk show host that poisoned his wife slowly, and mm-hmm. then they arrested him live on his talk show. They did. Yeah. That almost happened today. I would love that all What is that when you start tasting almonds, right? Right, there's something about an almond taste. And That's, San Diego sewage yeah. recycled to tap cyanide. water. Cyanide. Cyanide. Hey, uh, you want to turn on the channel I want to see over there? Thank you. Which one? That one over so there? I want to see if uh, right. what's going down uh, goes down. Or When does that show go off? Uh, they start in another hour. They do? Or, or do they? Is that on forever? Oh, wait, wait. They go to... They go to the, oh no I think they're done are they done yeah I are think they done? yeah I, I think, think they're done. stupid Ellen's on yeah I think they're, they're done bro you, you missed, missed your chance, your chance we sir. just realized that I thought uh, it was on the clock hold on there's a damn news van right here there's got to be somebody around dude uh, there's it's uh, it's uh, off there's, uh, all right call us back if you got anything Steve I'm sorry all right all right sorry guys I thought it was uh, nine no. I thought they were going into the final hour but they're done Don't skate. All right, we're going to regroup. Derek, get us out of here. All right, Bill Burr in studio helping us out today, doing a great job. He's going to be at uh, Rascals in Montclair uh, Wednesday before Thanksgiving and then the Friday, Saturday afterwards. Very, very good. Spending Thanksgiving alone in New Jersey. Oh, no. You are? Yeah. You don't do a family thing for Thanksgiving ever? drive home to eat. No? No. 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 Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to yeah. do a quick round of news here. we got so many so many stories to get to that we just haven't gotten to yet. The Missouri talk show host kills wife slowly but surely. You hear about this thing? Did he kill her? Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, what wife's saying. death. Wow. I think they that's put, what they're a, saying. put antifreeze in her Gatorade. Antifreeze in her Gatorade. They say that stuff is pretty sweet, that uh, antifreeze. Yeah, slowly but surely, it, it took her out. Here's the story. A year ago, as the young woman who lived in this house behind me lay dying, her family and doctors at the hospital suspected that she had been poisoned. Now authorities say she was the culprit, her husband, his motive, insurance money. 
Hey, can we play uh, Always and Forever? Ah, uh, because you know. We love these marriage stories because it all starts with the lovely couple's uh, dance at the wedding. Mm -hmm. Always and Forever. They're dancing with each other, feeding each other cake at the wedding. Right. It had to be, you know, a lovely little moment. And then you fast Everyone's forward. Everyone's on the dance floor during Bob Seger's old-time rock and roll. Yeah, come on, everybody. And then you fast forward a few years, and this is what you get, that fucking cunt. <laughs> As you're spiking her Gatorade with the... Dude, that is evil, man. Why don't they just divorce him? I don't know. You gotta kill somebody? Hit the mm. song. We'll start this over. All right, there you go. Uh, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and a rash on her leg that doctors couldn't find a particular source for. Mm. All right, Talk well. show host, huh? Talk show host, yeah. Got any it's of his show? It's unfair, you know? It's like you yeah. get her in the ground, you know, that should be it. Yeah. Roll credits. Yeah. Do we have any of his talk show? Any of his show? Do we know anything about this guy? You do. No? Is he wacky DJ? I want to hear the break he did when his wife passed away and then his false sentiments like, I'm really going to yeah. miss you, baby. Yeah. And people writing and sending him gifts. Yeah. I mean, well, he, he probably got some sympathy pussy out of it. <laughs> Let's say hi to Kevin in New Jersey. Kevin? What's up, boys? Hey, Kevin. Hey, congratulations. On what? Direct TV oh. starts tomorrow. Oh. oh, is that tomorrow? It starts tomorrow. I am so... Right. We better uh, make sure we have a good show tomorrow. Yes. Oh. We're going to be exposed to 15 million households starting tomorrow. This crappy radio show. <laughs> With dildos on <laughs> nice. sidewalks. With dildos on sidewalks, we'll be exposed to 15 million homes starting tomorrow. I got you in the car, and now I got you on home starting tomorrow. What's the deal with DirecTV? Do you have to um, subscribe to our show? Or does it come uh, with the package? I don't know. It says it's a package, but it says that they're getting rid of the old music situation that they used to have. Right. So I don't know if it's part of the package, but whatever it is, well, Elo really, I'm going to buy it. Elo really took care of us with this deal. Basically, the XM channel is going to be uh, available on DirecTV. Mm -hmm. We all have those cable packages that we yeah. had all the music choices. Music. I think it's called Music, music Choice or whatever. Yeah. But now that's going to go away on DirecTV. It's going to be the uh, XM music channels. And then he threw ours, our channel in just, uh, just because he could. Nice. So when they used to change around your cable... And like Your it, channel, 827. 827? 827. All right. And I, I am psyched. I work at home, and it's going to be on all day. All right. Very good. Thank you, Kevin. I forgot all about that. Remember they would announce things like, uh, next week, channel 17 is channel 23. Channel 27 is going to be channel 19. Uh, TBS will now be on channel 62. Like, they used to do that about every six months or so with cable. What I don't get is they still haven't figured out to just... Get all the news channels together. They didn't do that? Not with Manhattan Cable. No. Oh, mine out CNN on Long is, Island is CNN amazing. CNN is 10, and MSNBC is 43, no. and, and Fox is 46, and I go like 25, 26, 27, 28. They're all the news channels. That would be great. Yep. You know, and, then, and it is. Then you throw all like the pop culture stations <laughs> together. When boom. things happen. MTV, the VH1, E, Comedy Central. Just throw all those together in a block. But well, they're going to have to change all around the all the channels now for you. Confuse everybody. Let's go to the piss master. Piss master. Piss master. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah, I was just gonna say that guy that killed his wife. Uh, he was actually on the air when the cops came and got him during commercial break, and they had to have some guy come in and just all nervous and shit trying to take his place. Hey, take it easy, everybody. The cops are here for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested. I killed my wife, everybody. <laughs> yeah, all, all I'm going down the river. <laughs> For the long haul. It's gonna be God, God, God. <laughs> bye bye. Wow, the Keystone Cops chasing me around the studio. Oh! 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 This is wacky, Zinnerific. Check, please. <laughs> oh, got my bag, please, Red Cap. I'm going to be gone for a while. we got to get audio of this guy getting arrested live on the air. His wacky show. They said they did it during commercial break, though. Oh, really? you oh, got to get his it. last break, because you know we knew the cops were outside. They're probably standing in the fucking window. Hey, your mom's box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, sir. Hey, no problem. Punching out. All right. Uh, regular guys ripping off movie trailer bit. Great. Those fucking scumbags. Go fuck yourselves. We've been on to them for many years. Regular jerks, Opie. 
That's what I say. They love foundrymusic.com for all their show prep needs. Fucking tools. <laughs> Yeah, we should She's explain. She's talking and firing. We should explain this. This what rock. the hell is this? This is 911 audio, 911 audio of uh, a 66 year old granny just shooting the prowler and talking to 911 at the same time. This rocks. You hear that? You, you son stay of a, down. You, you stay yeah. down, or by God, how I dare you come to my house? my house, you son of a bitch! I'll shoot you again. Listen to the last bit of it. Did you just shoot him again? Tell her to stop shooting. People are coming. Stop shooting you him. Stop shooting. You gotta just stop shooting the guy. Uh, <laughs> Did you shoot him again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell her to stop shooting. <laughs> yeah. We have a uh, an ending to that story. Oh, of course, we got more. How great is that nine one one call? Fantastic. Is that is that the best one we've heard? That's pretty good. In a while, do we have our old nine one one calls? The lady complaining about uh, not getting her burger. Oh right yeah, and all that, that stuff. This is a real one. Oh yeah. We heard the glass breaking and searched the closets. We finally came down to one last door that we had not opened, and it was this door right here, a coat closet door. I had my thirty eight. I pulled the door open, and this man, this big six foot one, really buff man, jumped out at me, and I jumped back, and I held the gun on him, and my granddaughter called 911 right here, and I said, Get down, get down, or I'll shoot. And he was trying to grab my gun, and I was going like this to keep him from grabbing it, and back and like this, back and forth, and he wouldn't get down. He started to open the front door, and he opened the door and grabbed at my gun, and he didn't get down. Uh, and so I shot him, and he came out here on the porch. I still had my gun on him, though. Uh -oh. He fell down in these leaves right over here, and he I was afraid he had a weapon in his running pants. Very he didn't have good. a shirt on, just Smart lots of tattoos. And he, I stood right back here so he couldn't hit me, just in case he did have a weapon. Then I sh he got up to run, and I shot one more time, and by that time, the police were coming. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She Let almost assist. screwed up by <laughs> saying that she he was leaving the house. Like, if, if someone breaks into your house and th then they are trying to retreat from a situation, it gets very iffy. Yeah. Very iffy. Sounds like he's running away. Yeah. No matter what happens beforehand, if you sense that somebody is leaving the situation, even if they created it to begin with, if they're trying to retreat, then it gets really yeah, touchy sure with deadly can, physical force. You can easily convinced that you still felt threatened right you just said well, that, then her saying he was going for the door and grabbed at my gun that there you go and then her saying she thought he's he's on the ground and thought he had a weapon in his pants and that he might have been going for that you could shoot him 20 times in the back of the head at that point i saw his arm twitching i thought he had a gun bah. that's all you need she's clear we got a little more audio good job and the second shot that the 911 operator was talking about, that was a warning shot right up in the air Yes, and that's the one that the police heard, and I saw their flashlights coming down the uh, street right after that. Now, were you scared in all of this? I was scared, I was terrified, and I was really, really angry that this guy is in my house. He could have harmed me or my granddaughter if I had not had that 38 ready to go. And, and, and you said you'd been through a, a gun course, so you, you didn't shoot to kill, you shot just to wound. You knew what you were doing. 
I really did. I had uh, you when you get a handgun, you want to practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and actually, they do tell you to shoot for the chest area, but. Yeah. In this case, I thought it was better just to let the police take care of the bad stuff. I just shot him in the leg to stop him. You got to shoot for the big target. That's what they always tell you. Center mass. Because, right, when you are using deadly physical force, when you've been forced into that situation, uh, it's not about wounding. You got to commit all the way. You got to commit. It's also, all or nothing. There's odds of missing. Right. <laughs> How's this old granny there? Just, hey, Jed, get me the varmint gun. I'm going to shoot him in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> that granny's pretty good. Crack shot. We got to hear the audio one more time. Hello? Yes? Someone just broke into our house. Are they still there? Get the out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay, are they still there? Yes. Do you know who he is? He's screaming. No, hurry, please. Is anybody Sizemore. injured? She just shot him. Hurry. Please hurry. Okay, stay on the phone with me, okay? Okay. Is he laying down or is he getting up? He's laying down. He tried to... Get him out here now. By God, I'm busy. Please send paramedics on the way, okay? What? She I doesn't know where she shot him. Please send paramedics are on the way, okay? Why are you coming to my house, you loudest son of a... Did you just shoot him again? You gotta stop shooting him. She's gonna get in trouble because she was like, "You son of a! How dare you come yeah. on? I will kill you." That's off. Who was hoping for the N word through that little thing? I was hoping, you damn son of a bitch, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> that would like it, it sounded like it should have, like out of that accent and everything, like that should have been the next thing. That would have made it like, the oh, greatest that audio been, ever. Oh, no, that would have just been like, oh, she had it, she had it, she got, oh, no, you blow it. <laughs> I want to see that on America's Funniest Home Video. <laughs> yeah, where's that one? Yeah, Boing. That? <laughs> Wacky. All right, we got some 911 calls we haven't played in a while. Wow. We got to add that to the list. No, there are people saying that sounds like me in a few years. Uh, that 911 tape is your future if you ever leave your panic room. <laughs> I don't have a panic room. Shut up. You want to yeah, hear? and you won't be. You'll be defending that whore cook of yours. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's hey, right. No. <laughs> hey. Or Monday's the Monday. day. Is Monday the day yet? Monday's always the day. Yeah, don't drink any Gatorade when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone's saying she's not too old, only about 50. The, the oh, switch yeah. said 66. All right, let's hit the the Burger King 911 call. We haven't played these in a while. Listen to this, Bill. Tax right. Department, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm over here. I'm over here at Burger King right here in San Clemente. Mm -hmm. um, no, not San Clemente. I'm sorry. Um, I live in San Clemente. I'm in Laguna Niguel, I think that's where I'm at. Uh -huh. I'm at a drive-thru right now. Uh -huh. I had I ordered my food three times. They're mopping the floor inside, and I understand they're busy. They're not even busy. Okay, I've been the only car here. I asked for four different times to make me a Western barbecue burger. Okay. They keep giving me a hamburger with lettuce, tomato, and cheese, onions. And I said, I'm not leaving. Uh -huh. I want a Western burger because I just got my kids from Taekwondo. They're hungry. I'm on my way home, and I live in San Clemente. Uh-huh. Okay. She, said, she gave me another hamburger. It's wrong. I said four times. I said, I want it. She goes, can you go out and park in front? I said, no. I want my hamburger right. So then the, the lady came to the manager. She, or whatever, whoever she is, she came up, and she said, um, she said, um, do you want your money back? And I said, no, I want my hamburger. My kids are hungry, and I have to jump on the toll freeway. I said, I am not leaving this spot, and I said, I will call the police because I want my Western burger done right. Now, is that so hard? Okay, what exactly is it you want us to do for you? I send the officer down here. I want, I want them to make me the right. Jim, we're not going to go down there and enforce your Western bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? This is, this is between you and the manager. This, we're not going to go enforce how to make a hamburger. That's, why, that's not a criminal issue. There's, there's, there's nothing criminal so I just there. Stand here. So I just sit here. And you, you need to calmly and rationally speak to the manager and figure out what to do between you. She did come up, and I said, can I please have my Western burger? She, she said, I'm not dealing with it. She walked away. Cause, because they're mopping the floor, and it's all full of suds, and they don't want to run. They don't want to go through there. And, 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 and ma'am, then I suggest you get your money back and go somewhere else. This, 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 is, this is not a criminal issue. We can't go out there and, and make them make you a cheeseburger the way you want it. Well, that is that you're supposed to be here to protect me. Well, what are we protecting protect you from? You. A wrong cheeseburger? <laughs> no. Is, is this like is this a harmful cheeseburger or something? I don't understand what you want us to do. Well, 
Just come down here. I'm, I'm not leaving. No, ma'am, I'm not sitting with deputies down there over a cheeseburger. You need to go in there and act like an adult and either get your I money back that. and go she home. She not acting like an adult herself. I'm sitting here in my car. I just want them to make my kid a, a, a Western burger. Ma'am, this is what I suggest. I suggest you get your money back from the manager and you go on your way home. Okay. Okay? okay. Bye-bye. How amazing is that? How amazing She should is be that? arrested. Yeah, it's of like, do you understand should. that there's people probably calling in? Yeah, that need murder, real help. rape. Yeah, the granny yeah. is the granny's on hold because her burger's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's the guy, it's the guy who's getting shot and calling. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> ah, help me. This bitch is shot and shot me twice already. <laughs> All right, and then we got this 911 call. Listen to this one. We need a um, police call here in emergency. This guy, my daughter has been strained on these. I understand that, ma'am. You got to call. Like, I understand that. But right now, we really, really do not have nobody. And I've been trying my best to get a car car to y'all, and we really do not have nobody. How do you not have police officers? You have to take that out with the mayor. All right, that one's not that good. Why is that still in the system? Hawk? There is one where, uh, problem hawk. Where's the one? I, that's, the, I thought that was the one where the lady called because her, uh, daughter was just being a jerk and screaming and yelling and stuff. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. They had some kind of little, I don't even think it was that bad. Like it was something that was really stupid. All right. We got one more. The smart ass dispatcher. Remember this guy? Yeah. Listen to this one, Bill. 911, what is your emergency? Yes. Um, I need a oh, police this officer is... over here. What's going on? All right. Go, yeah. This is the one. Okay. This is, is the one I was thinking of. Yeah. The, this mom is having a problem with her daughter, so she calls 911. Listen to this. 911, what is your emergency? Yes. Um, I need a police officer over here. What's going on? Um, I've got two teenage daughters, and I just got home from work. They were um, physically fighting with each other, and one of them kicked a hole in a door. And um, they're 12 and almost 14, and the 12-year-old is completely out of control. And I, I can't, I physically, if she's as big as I am, I can't control her. Okay, did you want us to come over to shoot her? <laughs> are you there? Excuse me? Uh, that's a joke. Okay, so Who are you? Uh, what is your Mike. name? Mike Forbes. Okay, that's not funny, Mike. I'm and sorry. Guess what? I'm going to file a formal complaint. Get... I don't blame you a bit. Because you know what? Uh, this is really not very funny. I know it's not, ma'am. I well, guess what? It's not going to be very funny when I go in front of your supervisor and oh. tell him. I understand. Me, I guess he can just listen to the tape. Yes, he can. I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, Hold sorry on. doesn't Hold cut on it. I need second. a police officer. Hold on. Hold on. We got the granny on the other line. Yeah. <clears throat> I love how he knew when he yeah. fucked up. Okay. Twelve and huh. 10 and 12 or 12 and 14? 12 and 13 and a half. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll get the police officers on the way. They're on an emergency call right now, but as soon as I can get one free, I'll get them on the way. Oh, well, don't rush or anything. Well, I, <laughs> I apologize for my smart remark, and I will get them in route as soon as I can. Okay, and what is your name again? Mike Forbes. My number is 605. Hunt. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, the guy knew he was so I like long. right like right when he said it and she didn't answer and then she started talking back and she was pissed. He tried doing like you know when Voss tells a joke on here and bombs and he goes ah and keeps like talking like it's just part of the conversation. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't supposed to be a joke in the yeah, first yeah, place. Yeah. This guy tries <laughs> to just do that. Move on and it just doesn't work. You can hear it in you his hear voice it. that it's the last day on the job. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I it's over. Up. He picked oh, the wrong boy. person. You know what sucks, too, is any anybody who works at the police station who listens to that shit is going to laugh. Of yeah. course. Immediately be like, dude, you know, if it was up to me. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. exactly. first of all, this woman calling in with her kids fighting, be a mother, you, fuck, you, 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 you piece of shit. It's kids fighting. Go ahead. Be a mother. Rack their heads together and uh, settle it. Don't call the cops. And then the guy goes, what would you like us to do? Come over and shoot him? It's a joke, you know? Right. No. He, you know what? He fucked up because he started apologizing. What he should have done was stuck to his guns because then yeah. maybe she wouldn't file a complaint. No one would bother listening to the tape. Right. She'd be like, lady, you got two kids fighting, okay? I got... Yeah, what do you want from us? Yeah, we're dealing, dealing with drug dealers. Yeah. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna you take, dumb cunt. <laughs> we're going to take a break. We'll uh, we'll wrap up the Opie and Anthony show Ooh. next. Uh, I want to remind people, don't miss the Ron and Fez show today. Do not miss the Ron and Fez show today. Okay? Right. Especially if you're a, a, a fan of those guys. All right? Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. It's up to them to, to say what they have to say. Okay? Okie dokie. But don't miss the Ron and Fez show. That will be uh, in a half hour from right now. Mm-hmm. 
Do we have time to do some Tyra Banks today? Uh, our latest, uh, so. our latest TV obsession. We love the Tara Reid thing. Is Paradise. The, is the shopping party here yet? We're going shopping. Is that it? Is Don the guy we're going shopping with? Don and Mark. What? Sounds pretty good. Are they going like no, no, to, no, to no. point out what looks good on us? Is that like what they're going to do? How about we go shopping with chicks? That's it. They could get you I'm not cereal. going shopping with they other guys. Get... We're, we're, we're going to come out of a dressing room. Oh, that looks good on you. Fuck I, that shit. I brought, uh, I brought my girl with me, by the way. She's uh, at the hotel, and uh, because I am not taking a guy's word for it, whether I look good or not. What? My chick is coming with us. Oh, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, we're not sure. Gonna, I we're am not shopping not gonna, with guys. No, that's fine. I am not going to stand there and have a Don Wicklin look at my ass and say, uh, it looks a little loose in the back there. I'm not looking Anthony. at your ass. Looking looks a little, a little loose. <laughs> looking a little lumpy. <laughs> The Carson uh, name. That's all I, I know. know. You weren't fooling know. anybody with your football trivia. You showed your, <laughs> you showed your real stripes this morning. I also know that it takes four innings <laughs> in football <laughs> right. to try to get a first down. All right, so uh, you guys are going for what reason then, Don? Mm. You are going shopping to, with us. To Why? pull out the uh, credit it. card at the end of it. You're not paying. XM's paying, first of all. Yeah, but I'm... I don't have the corporate care credit card. There we I'm go. I'm paying it. He's got the corporate credit card, Opie. So I'm That's why it. he's welcome. How much are we allowed to spend? Whatever you want. No, oh. seriously, how much are we allowed to spend? Well, I'm thinking uh, two, three, nice... Uh, two or three what? Outfits. Hundred? Outfits? That looks nice. You can't get underpants. Two or three outfits? At the place we're going. Underpants. Two or three all, all pieces outfits. of an ensemble. <laughs> Do we have to get <gasps> pants and shirt? Yep. It's a whole getup. It's the whole thing. I want socks. I want underwear. I want shoes. I only wear dress socks. Ew. Why? Because they're comfy. You know that I bought socks for the first time in like... Uh... Would you buy the big bag of white socks? <laughs> yeah, right here. Look. <laughs> you Jesus Christ. That's Don't what every guy... Up for that's a what, second. That's what just... every guy does. Get, get, a, li- get a... Just, With just get fucking... a little bit of adulthood under your 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 belt. No. Just... <laughs> no, I don't want... <laughs> like... No. You, you still buy with, the big bag of white yes, socks. Yes, like all normal and guys they, do. Then you, you got a couple dark ones for Easter and Christmas. <laughs> as opposed to you with your fucking Hugh Beaumont <laughs> you, forest green Beaumont. socks. Wow. I'll leave it to Beaver <laughs> reference. Very good, Bill. Anthony, uh, you Beaumont. every once in a while you yeah. got to listen to your old pal, Ope. Uh-huh. Just cut your losses. You're going to lose this argument. Dress socks are fancy and they feel good. You're gonna lose the Do you argument. know? Although I all should right, be wearing I want to know how many ones. times you put your friggin' socks on and your shoes on, and that bunched up seam is pressing on your little toe. What? In the, See? the white socks? socks? Yeah, I love the white. No. Dude, I even gave up wearing dress uh, socks with suits. I couldn't do it anymore. Why? What's it's wrong with the quality? Dress I just... See, you gotta buy a good dress. Ah, you're buying cheap stuff. I what do you go? You a... go with the gold toe? I go with a nice, yes, yeah, sometimes the gold toe. Hey, I got a gold toe. What? You're on your white gold toe? Those baby. are white. <laughs> with a gold toe. Yeah, but it's the Where's same the company. Seam? Where's the seam? Right across the top of your toes. So? Well, why don't you buy some fucking shoes that fit? I do. I don't have any problems with those, nice do you? Shoes. What? I just the like white the nice socks. Sock. The white socks no. are fine. And what kind of shoes are you wearing? Pure to do a radio white. Show? I'm just wearing uh, uh, they're, they're sneakers. All right, listen but to me. They're like sneakers. Ugh. Listen to me. I will That's tell awful. you this. Those socks came with an oxygen tank. <laughs> no, an oxygen tank? Uh, you idiot. I can't talk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. And that was a great line, too. It really was. Fuck. <laughs> the jeans I'm wearing. Wait, let him catch his oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> the jeans I'm wearing, I will wear the entire week. The underwear. Yeah, see, that's a problem. Uh, the you underwear, talk about it like it's no problem. You think if you say it enough that people won't go, ew. Anyone around here ever smell my ass? <laughs> exactly. Who wants to? Exactly. No, you don't have to, like, stick it in someone's face to smell someone's ass. Ass. People walk by and they're a little funky. You smell it. Yeah, but for a week? Uh, yeah, I changed And the your underwear. roller blade? That's I, disgusting. I changed the underwear and the socks. Whew. That's disgusting. And the shirt? You will see two, maybe three times this week. No! Yes, you will. No! You know, Einstein wore the same shit every day, but he had like yes, you seven will. versions of it. <laughs> He's a genius. He's a genius, unlike yeah, you, the who's wild, just a filthy man. 
All right. Wow, you're just a fancy homeless guy. <laughs> you're a homeless guy with a house. But this shirt cost me seventy dollars. <laughs> and and why be... did you go down there that day? It doesn't look After like he a had his gay shirt. cereal. He wanted to go down there and look at the models <laughs> at Abercrombie and Fitch. Look at the you models. had a real gay weekend, didn't you? I did not want to look at the models. All right. Can we play the Tyra Banks stuff? Yes. All right. She's Tyra a Banks. friend of the fat, and now she's a pal of the stutterers. Right. Making this... everybody feel better about themselves is what she does. Yes, she does. Let's get uh, right into it. One of my favorite things I like to do here is a makeover for life. And today's stories will steal your heart. The people you're about to meet are among the more than 3 million Americans who suffer with a stuttering disorder. For some, it's a, it's a genetic condition. For others, the cause is unknown. In either case, stuttering has caused emotional pain and limited their everyday lives. Now, sometimes there's a misconception that people who stutter aren't smart. And I want to say right now that is completely wrong. Stuttering is a serious disorder that is to be taken seriously, mm -hmm. and it has nothing to do with a lack of intelligence. Now, Meredith has dealt with stuttering all of her life, and despite countless treatments, she I'm still struggles that. with her stutter every day. Did you notice when day. she first said stutter, she it, she got in her head, mm -hmm. and then she actually started the next line. Did like, she? Whatever oh, yeah, you do, don't, don't stutter. Don't, yeah, yeah, well. I love how she's just dramatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's very yeah dramatic, dramatic with her. Her intros are very dramatic. I just want you to know, did you ever really think that stuttering people were stupid? Did that... that you did, Opie? Yeah, okay. Sorry. I just never really thought they were Yeah, when stupid. I was eight. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Good point. When you're on the out in the schoolyard making fun of your I know, playmates. You to preach to adults. Don't throw yeah. rocks at the retarded. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's doing. Yeah. Just, they're not stupid people. The stutterers. Oh, I gotcha. Let's, uh... So sick of... They all gotta act like they fucking care. And I was like, stuff I was talking earlier, Jessica Simpson going to Africa now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's like her feel-good moment. I want to care herself. too. <laughs> How come Angelina only gets to care? I want to care also. Like <laughs> Tyra Banks, did she think people are in the office buildings in their cubicle going four eyes, four eyes? You wear glasses, ha ha. She's preaching to grown-ups. Like we're you know children. what the reality is is we are just when they're not there we just don't say it to their face well, okay another good point Bill <laughs> we don't say it to their face so do they really have to know that that's what we're saying about them Sutter is that we're saying you're stupid behind your backs well let's see what uh, let's see what Meredith how is she gonna work let's see what Meredith's all about I I <laughs> <laughs> Speak <laughs> at times and oh, that the woman it's got a mouth like an outboard motor. Words time, just don't put, 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 come put, 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 out. It just has put, 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 such a huge impact on everything I do and every aspect of my life. Stuttering in front of anyone is just so in. Embarrassing. Every time I stutter, it's like I'm a child again. Fancy because talk. Fancy talk for a I feel helpless. I define who I am. She's doing good here. Nice. That's because they're playing Boxes. sympathetic music. Yeah. Stuttering. Yeah, I don't know player. that I'm so much more than the girl who stuttered. Yeah. We're going to learn a little bit today, everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> Next clip. She could have said that in eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he's the bad guy in this. I know, right? You set the whole bit up. I'm supposed to riff on whatever you yeah. present there, Mr. Point Guard. And Jesus we're playing Bill. every insensitive <laughs> clip we can find. Bill finally decides. Sitting there. He says one word and Opie jumps on him. Bill finally decides to join the team. <laughs> and then we throw it back at you. <laughs> we terrible. really are the worst. Yeah, all that shit with that. The, Fred C. The news girl. Yeah, I just, I just went along with it. Yeah, you yeah. didn't want to either. Right, wanted here's... to apologize in between breaks? Of course you did. Here's an, an a nice clip. guy. Or I'm really done. You guys are just such assholes. Girl, he <laughs> uh, now, Meredith is 34 years old, and she struggled with stuttering her entire life. 
but she's just been introduced to an amazing device called the Fluency Master, and it has done wonders for her to correct her speech. And I know, Meredith, that there's been something that you have been wanting to say your entire life that has been so difficult for you. Oh, no. Uh, and now with the device, you, you can say it. So why don't you stand up and say that. Stand up. Hi, I'm Meredith. That's it. <laughs> Setting those goals pretty low. <laughs> Hi, I'm Meredith. That's what she wanted to say her entire life? We take the <laughs> <Really? laughs> This you know what's funny is how Moby stinks. <laughs> it's how awful Tyra is to listen to, to look at. She's great. I would yeah. be watching the show just to check her out, right? Uh -huh. Watch yeah, the yeah. person's bottom lip quiver. Yeah. But you hear her on the radio, it's just horrendous. Horrible. Really bad. Horrendous. And she's just it feels great. Uh -huh. she's trying so hard to come off as very sensitive and loving and caring. Oh, and that's what I laughed in the beginning when she tried to say people's problems. She's trying to problems. That's what she does. She gets all tripped out. If she says, you guys, I used to have a stuttering problem because she has to, like, connect to all these things now. Oh, all the supermodels. I have no, that's her whole, too. That, yeah, that's her whole show is like, look, I'm just like you guys. Why don't you just stand up and tell everybody what you wanted to say so long? He said, I can smell your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see what she. You know, yeah. Waited her whole life to say. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Just... Let me think this over a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he guys rifling through the shit. <laughs> you st stop breaking down the eighth wall. Let's see. They can hear you shuffling it the same way they hear you eating your gay cereal. Will you shut okay. up. Okay. You're ruining the bit. What did you want to say? That's what I do on here. <laughs> So long. What did you want to say? Oh, that uppity nigger went and hit me on the head with a shovel. Why does she sound like Slim Pickens? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a Meredith. <laughs> Replacing saddles. With that, let's go back to the audio. This feels great. I know. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I was just looking at you going, this is a totally different woman. So this device actually has changed your life. Yes. Oh, yeah. It has changed your life. And I can imagine being a, being a beautiful woman and a guy approaching you because he's like, oh, she's so beautiful. And then it's so hard for you to speak. And then they might get confused and, and, and might be prejudiced about it. What? But, you know, it's a whole new day, not just with guys, but just in general. Just in general. As <laughs> soon as I get home, the first thing I'm going to do is punch your mama in the mouth. <laughs> All right. Now we move on to James. Tell me about the time that James called a girl that he liked in school. He called her at home. Yeah, he had called her, and um, he had asked to talk to her. He had started to say her name because the father had answered the phone, oh. and he had started to say her name, and he couldn't quite get it out. You know, and he had, you know, stuttered on some of the words. And the dad said, "Is this a, a joke?" You know, and started cussing him out. And my son was trying to say, "No, no," you know, and. No. no, and oh. the the dad hung up on him. <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? <laughs> you better get your head and your ass wired together, or I will take a giant shit on you. <laughs> Now, this next story really touched me. 16-year-old uh -oh. really? James the has a two. severe Fuck stutter, him. and his story stole my heart. I try and, and not to talk a lot. I um, feel, um, feel um, and I am, uh, am embarrassed. People think um, be, be, um, because is Mike Jones? I am um, his... I um his I um his stutter that that I'm dumb because um you know I like can't um you know, get out you know words like fast I who want to um worry about um him being um you know, a um teen I feel like. This um is um holding him me um back. I see for um him myself college you know, who work and um you know, life. <laughs> well, 
We're waiting. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> This is kind of painful to listen to. I'm not gonna lie to you. This really touched. She's trying to be the the sexy Oprah. Yeah. Yeah. Tyra. Of course mm-hmm. she is. I care about people. I don't have a kid. <laughs> and fuck up my body. So. You know she's retiring. She did the Victoria's Secret show, but she had to go on the South Beach diet for like a month or two. Everybody's oh, really retiring. Get in shape. Huh? Her Jay Moore retired. Plump up. <laughs> he did. He retired from stand up. Yeah, he he did. did. Yes, he yeah. did. He announced that on our program. Yes. More James. So I think it's time to meet James. Come on out. So James, speak to your mama. Speak, James. (laughs) Don't I cry no more? (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Mom, how does it feel to hear him get that out of me? like. Happy and stuff. Oh, I am so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so happy. James, how do you feel? You weren't smiling on that tape, but you are smiling ear to ear now. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, it was perfect. You want to call that girl again? Uh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tell her. Maybe. She missed out on the first time. Uh, yeah. So how do you feel about yourself now that you have a fluency master? I feel like better now. Feel so better? Yeah. Uh huh. Hmm. Gotta admit, he sounded a lot better. Yeah, they they both sound a lot better. Yeah. The other girl, she's a high emeritus. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, show like, off a little more. I can speak that. French. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Woo. One more clip. We're running out of show, unfortunately. Now, before the break, I said I would give you three tips when it comes to communicating with someone that stutters. The first thing is just listen. Just listen to what they're saying and be patient. The oh, second is exactly. just talk. Don't talk slow like this. They're very intelligent people, and they know what the hell you're saying. You don't have to talk Nobody slow. Nobody dumb stutters. And the third thing is don't finish their sentences. Wait for them to finish oh, because they why? know what they want to say more than you know what they want to say. Why? Oh, my. Wow, that's uh, some great advice there, Tyra. Thank yeah. you. Look out. There's a... Guy coming. <laughs> Look out! Well, I'm taking Tyra's advice. I'm waiting for to see oh, okay. what, he's, what Anthony's going to say. Yes, Look. Anthony, go ahead. I have patience. Look, Look out! Yeah, there's a g- 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 gun at your head. <laughs> 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 Wait, we can end with this maybe. <laughs> Hold on. I'm d- I'm just taking Tyra's advice. You gotta you gotta be patient. Right. You're not supposed to try to finish those sentences because yes, they're very intelligent people. Everybody who stutters is very intelligent. Go ahead, Anthony. <laughs> Light, the light is. What's wrong, Eric? You don't like this bit? You know what they like if you carry this around with you while they talk. I. What is want? You got it! <laughs> oh, all right. Or this one. You want to go 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 Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Good. Yeah, I learned that Opie's lean on meat cereal, he eats it with breast milk. I'll punch it out, guys. <laughs> I learned that very early. Danny, today. what did you learn today? Today I learned that uh, the Bills lost the Super Bowl to the Giants because Cat Norwood had camel toe. Very good. Yes, yeah. we learned that today. Let's say hi to Pinchy. Pinchy learned uh, something about football as well. Pinchy? Yeah, I learned that uh, Eli Manning threw four intersections yesterday. <laughs> sure did. He looked awful yesterday. I don't think we're going to see a Manning Super Bowl after all. Uh, clickety-clack. 
uh, line of Francine got the helmet wrapped around her ass, and all of a sudden, poof. All of a sudden, poop. <laughs> all right. Uh, Doug from Arizona from WackBag.com. He learned that Bill Burr needs... <laughs> what? You know what you need. Ox. Ox again? Oh, Ox again. Ox again. Yeah. Ox again. I want to thank Bill Burr. Another great job. Thank you so much, Bill. We'll see you tomorrow. Bill's here all week. That's yes. all week. And, and and get a quick plug in for your Thanksgiving I'm going to be in Rascals, Montclair, New Jersey, Thanksgiving weekend and the Wednesday before. Go see me on MySpace or BillBird.com, B-U-R-R, for all the information. I saw Bill recently. His new material kills, absolutely kills. Oh, at Lincoln Center. Oh, yeah. If you're going to be around, make sure you check out Bill Burr if you're in the area. All right, that's it for us. Up next, the Ron and Fez show, Anthony. Yes. A very special Ron and Fez show. A very different Ron and Fez show. Yeah, yeah. A Ron and Fez show you soon won't forget. And Ant and I... We'd love to sit around and see what that's all about, but we have to go shopping with uh, the cereal with questionable <laughs> men. <laughs> <laughs> questionable, <laughs> very questionable. We'll yeah, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.